of the Committee on Labor, Employment and Human Resource Development, joined with the Committee on Public Information and Mass Media is hereby resumed. The uh, committees are conducting this third part of our hearings to put to the table again the deliberations on the proposed Eddie Garcia bill, which we started last August 29. On September 15 and 23, this representation, together with the chairman of the Committee on Mass Media and uh, Public Information and Mass Media, Senator Robin Hood Padilla, met with the stakeholders in the industry where they shared insightful comments and recommendations for the said measure. Indeed, listening from the experiences and suggestions of the individ individuals who are themselves engaged in this industry places our appreciation of the matter at the proper perspective. Today, we intend to enrich our discussion so we can uh, come up with the best version of the proposed Eddie Garcia law. I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Robin Hood Padilla and uh, the committee secreta secretary is directed to please acknowledge the presence of our resource persons today. Mr. Chairman, good morning, Senator Padilla. The record, the following resource persons are here from the various government agencies, the Department of Labor and Employment, Director Alvin Curada, from the Department of Interior and Local Government, Attorney Keith Mingulio, from the Pag-ibig Fund, Attorney Jose Roberto Po, together with Ms. Anela Marie Aliena, from the Mr. Rex Paul Ricotero, from the Film Dev Development Council of the Philippines, we have Mr. Tirso Cruz the third, the chair. From the Philippine Information Agency, Deputy Director General Catherine De Castro, together with Mr. Philip Evangelista. From the People's Television Network Incorporated, Ms. Annalisa Prod, the general manager, together with Ms. Marie Nicolas. Attorney Steve Janson and Attorney Jenica Clemente. From the Workers and Employees Program of the University of the Philippines College of Law, Attorney Emil Johini Mendoza. Sir. From the various interest groups, uh, we have the GMA Network Incorporated, Attorney Jose Vener Ibarra, together with Mr. Fidel Asuncion. Attorney Regino Moreno and Attorney Ursuline Grace Feliciano. From the ABS CBN Corporation, Attorney Maria Sherry Cruz, together with Mr. Liadivico Bumbubung Jr. From the Film Academy of the Philippines, Mr. Manny Morfe, Director General. From the Actor League of Filipino Actors, Mr. Dingong Dantes, the Chairman together with Ms. Isa Calzado Winter, uh, Board of Directors. From the Philippine Theater Actor Guild, Guild Incorporated, uh, Ms. Titin Villanueva, the Directors Guild of the Philippines, Mr. Carlos Siguion Reyna, the Vice President. From the Inter-Guild Alliance, Ms. Ana Patricia Lapus, the Chairperson. Okay. From the Production and Location Managers Guild of the Philippines, uh, Ms. Andrea Aquino. From the Production Designer Circle of the Philippines, Mr. Ben Padero. Uh, from the Regional Film Leaders, Ms. And Ms. Andre Carly Hernandez. From the Lubon ng Pilipinong Cinematographer, Ms. Ann Monzon, President. From the Filipino Screenwriters Guild, Ms. Jules Dan Catanyag. Ah, sorry, Mr. Jules Dan Catanyag, together with Mr. Michael Angelo Dagnalan. From the Guild of Assistant Directors and Script Supervisors, Mr. Von Ramiro Plata, together with Ms. Francis Ann Frias. 
from the Trade Union Congress of the Philippines, Mr. Carlos Miguel Oñate. And also Mr. Percival Intalan, the president of the PMPPA. Mr. Chairman, for the record, the following government agencies have already submitted their position papers. The Department of Labor and Employment, the DILG, the Presidential Communications Office, the Philippine Commission on Women, a gay big fund, the Social Security System, and the Workers and Employees Program of the University of the Philippines College of Law. On the part of the private organizations, the following also has submitted their position papers. ABS-CBN Corporation, GMA Network, TV5, Philippine Motion Pictures Producers Association, the Production Designers Circle of the Philippines, Philippine Theater Actors Guild, the National Alliance of Broadcast Union, the Trade Union Congress of the Philippines, and the Inter-Guild Inter Alliance. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Comsec. I would like to remind the the persons, uh, the resource persons here that uh, this will be my last hearing with regard to the Eddie Garcia bill before I uh, submit our committee report in the Senate. I would like to uh, give the floor to Senator uh, Robin Hood Padilla for his opening statement. Maraming salamat po sa ating uh, mahal na uh, Senador, Senator Jean Grey Strada, ang tagapagtanggol ng masa. Audo billahi minasitan rajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Uh, gusto ko lamang pong uh, ipagalam sa lahat ng ating mga panahon na ito pong uh, ito ay pinag-aralan pong mabuti ng ating chairman. Uh, binigyan po ito ng sapat na panahon. Uh, nagkaroon po kami ng mga uh, consultation. Uh, minsan po, katunayan, hindi nakasama sa budget ng Senado yung ginawa namin consultation. So pagkat ayaw namin sabihin na, diba, na kami ay... Uh, personal interest. Ito po ay ginagawa namin dahil alam naman ng dole, mismong galing sa dole, na abnormal ang kasi ng trabaho sa pelikula at sa television, pati na rin sa intablado. Kaya po ito minaharap ng ating uh, butihing chairman sapagkat karoon na po ng mga maraming nag-uusap ng patungkol dito. Nagkaroon na po ng maraming kasunduan pero wala pang batas na nagaganap. Kaya ito pong pag-uusap na ito, eh, katulad po ng sinabi ng ating chairman, huli na po ito. Kaya sana dito po sa pag-uusap na ito, mailabas na po natin lahat yung mga gusto natin, nasa damdamin natin, ilabas na po natin. Dahil sana pagkatapos po nito, wala nang turuan, wala nang sisihan, wala nang batuhan at maging dahilan para magkaroon ng isang boses ang industriya, hindi lamang ng pelikula, hindi lamang ng telebisyon, hindi lamang ng tablado, kundi ng buong entertainment industry. At yun po ang maging daan upang makuha din natin yung isa pang klase ng pakikibaka naman at yun naman yung patungkol sa uh, holiday. Yun po. Maraming salamat po ang uh, aming mahal na kilo. Thank you, Senator Robin Hood. Anybody who wishes to make an opening statement? Uh, Mr. Dingdong Dantes. Uh, maganda umaga po. Chairman Estrada and the esteemed members of the committee, um, Senator Padilla, mga kasamahan sa industriya, maganda umaga po. Ako po si Don Dantes. Kasama ko po si Isa Colsado, kumakatawan sa aktor, League of Filipino Actors. Isa pong sec-registered na organisasyon na binubuo ng 150 active members na kasalukuyan pong nagtatrabaho sa larangan ng pelikula, television, entablado at digital media. Gusto po namin magpasalamat na umabot na tayo ng ganito. Kaya dito po kalayo sa panukalang ito, patunay po na talaga kapag tayo nagkakaisa, eh, makabuluhang mga layunin ang na, nasasagawa. We come here today with a focused sentiment. We acknowledge the interrelated roles that each critical sector in the industry assumes. 
The ultimate objective is neither personal nor selfish as we stand to maximize artist productivity and overall welfare of the workers across the board. That way, from a social and economic standpoint, lahat po ng mga industry participants including workers, artists, and employer producers stand to gain much to the satisfaction of our nation as a whole. Uh, mga kasamahan po, as co-creators in the art of storytelling, we passionately reiterate our call for the implementation of effective and responsive labor laws and regulations. Ito pa mga measures nito are essential to ensure not only optimal performance but also to safeguard the physical and mental well-being of our dedicated workforce. The timely laws we endorse encompass contractual reliability, rationalized wages and benefits, work hazard prevention, thoughtful consideration of the work environment, and reasonable limitations po sa working hours. We have submitted po our detailed position paper, but please allow me to run down the salient points for the purpose of the discussion. Una po, regarding working hours and work uh, and rest period, we stand united in advocating for the regulated working hours, supporting an 8 to 12 hour work period exclusive, exclusive po of meal breaks and a maximum allowable working day of 16, 16 hours. This aligns with the Inter-Guild Alliance's uh, proposal and excludes minors and seniors who must adhere to specific limitations. Pangalawa po, on rest periods, we concur with the proposed 10 to 12 hour rest period with a minimum of 10 hours for lock in shoots as determined by the Tripartite Council. Thirdly, we are thankful uh, for the strengthened inclusion of the OSH or Occupational Safety Health Requirements and the need for OSH officers on set ensuring a healthy working environment. And fourthly, Actor places a strong emphasis on mitigating sexual harassment within our industry by formalizing measures in contracts to respect actors' boundaries. This includes the establishment of intimacy coordinators, um, strict reporting mechanisms, and clear contractual language. We also propose the creation of an easily accessible help desk to assist industry workers in addressing such issues and support the inclusion of a penal provision to enhance accountability. And lastly po, we champion performers' rights to fair remuneration and we fully support the establishment of a tripartite council as outlined in the existing bills. Um, this council, we believe, is pivotal in fostering collaboration and ensuring the overall well-being of workers in the industry. It also provides a platform for industry stakeholders, including workers, producers, and even government representatives to collectively address the peculiar, the very peculiar safety concerns, labor conditions, and industry standards. Together, we can strengthen our industry, ensuring it thrives habang pinaprioritize natin ang welfare of all those who contribute to its success. Bilang pong uh, worker artist, wholeheartedly po, united po kami in the goal to raise the quality of our industry even further, Mr. Chair. However, we need to start by lifting each other up because we believe that we all share a common destination. And with the success of the entertainment industry in mind po, we highlight the value of establishing the right standards and safeguards to govern it. And by that, we expect the delivery of captivating performances that breathe life into the stories we tell. Because in the long run, po, we can also expect sustainability and growth in the industry that makes ours truly world-class. It is our hope for us to strike a harmonious balance between creative output and the well-being of all the performers for the growth and success of the industry and our nation's awareness. Actor po and uh, all our stakeholders are very grateful, uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. Senator, and honored for the opportunity to be heard in the process of developing these bills. We pledge our commitment and assistance in, uh, in seeing that these bills are enacted into the Eddie Garcia law. The Eddie Garcia law would not just ensure safety in the workplace, but confer to all workers in front and behind the cameras a dignity fitting to the industry we serve, the industry where Eddie Garcia spent most of, most of his life. Um, maraming salamat po. Thank you, uh, Mr. Dingdong Dantes. Anybody else who wishes to 
give their opening statements. Yes, please identify yourself. Patricia Lapus of. Hello, I'm Anna Patricia Lapus of Interguild Alliance. Um, Interguild Alliance, yes. all right. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Chair. Um, the Interguild Alliance is a private sector community based network of 14 guilds and organizations that represent uh, professional workers in the film, TV, and advertising industries. Can um, you please list down what are these 14 guilds under your organization? Um, included in the 14 guilds present here today are Actor. Um, we have the Directors Guild of the Philippines, or DGPI. Uh, we also have the Guild of Assistant Directors and Super Script Supervisors. The Filipino uh, Screenwriters Guild. We also have the uh, Lupon, the mga Pilipinong Cinematographer, or the Cinematographers, one of the Cinematographers Guild. Um, we uh, also have in our membership um, Filipino Film Editors. Uh, Kapisana ng mga assistant director sa Patalastas or CAPS. We also have the North Luzon Cinema Guild represented here today by Ms. Um, Amaya Han of the Regional Film Leaders. Um, also present here today is the Production Designer Circle of the Philippines or PD Circle. The Philippine Independent Producers Group. Sound Speed Philippines and Association of Filipino Stuntmen. Uh, is your organization re registered with the SEC? Yes, sir. B I R N Z. Mm -hmm. Continue. Thank you, Chair. Um, the film and television industries deserve the attention as they comprise a cultural force that has contributed much to nation building and activated the economy through employment and income generation. We laud the focus of the Senate in giving these industries the support and the support uh, for the current bills aimed to further enhance, protect, and prof professionalize them. Um, as the Senate prepares to consolidate several bills upgrading the working conditions and safety standards of the audiovisual industries, we thank you for joining the IGA to participate in these discussions. Um, we'll summarize our three key elements um, for, for the bills presented here today. Our position is as follows. Firstly, we suggest a 16-hour maximum time frame. Um, this means from first man on set to the last man. Uh, okay, well, let's okay, let your uh, last statement. Uh, we suggest a 16-hour maximum time frame from the first man on set to the last man on set. Um, I think we believe it must be noted that um, we it usually takes a minimum of two hours to settle into the location, another two hours for meal breaks, and another hour maybe to dismantle everything so that's roughly five to six hours where the camera isn't even running including the ingress and egress including yes sir. yes chair um secondly we suggest a 10 hour minimum turnaround time meaning from daylights or the last man offset to the first call of the next shooting date and lastly, we also suggest an overtime pay takes effect after 14 hours. It must, however, be noted that personal contracts, negotiations, and other legal agreements of above-the-line film workers with respect to their respect with res with their respective productions be honored and respected. Um, in line with this, we also request for the inclusion of IGA representation in the technical working group or tripartite groupings. Um, it is a struggling moment for the industry, but we believe that um, we can help shape a good future together. Thank you, Chair. All right, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else who is uh, chairman of the FDCP, Mr. Tirsukos III? Yes, uh, good morning, Chair, uh, Honorable uh, Jingoy Ejercito Estrada. Of course, uh, I also would like to recognize uh, 
Senator Robin Hood Carino Padilla. Anyway, this will be short. Um, as chairman of the FDCP, the FDCP hopes that it is very timely and relevant that the government puts a premium on protecting the safety and welfare of the workers in the film industry. But it is also equally important to keep focus on the capacity and limitation of our Filipino production companies, who are all still recovering from the economic downturns brought about by the late COVID-19 pandemic. The recovery and development of our beloved Flipping film industry has many problems that will have to be solved with multidisciplinary approaches that will require the collective efforts of all of us. We all have to look at an industry-wide perspective, a bird's eye view that acknowledges all the needs from all sectors of the film industry, from the actors to the production crews to the production companies and the end users. I'd like to highlight the merits studying the best practices from other countries, but it would also be favorable to study the policies in the protection of workers in other industries of the Philippines that are more developed or sophisticated in addressing the needs of labor. As we continuously find the common ground and make important compromises, I believe that we can reach agreements that will both benefit the demands of our hardworking film workers, the economic consideration of our Filipino production companies and the changing preferences and taste of the Filipino audience. Uh, that will be all, uh, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Mr. Tirso Cruz III. Anybody else? Uh, Dr. Carlitos Siguion Reina. Um, thank you very much, Your Honors, um, Senators Estrada and Padilla, for this uh, opportunity uh, to participate in this hearing on the Eddie Garcia Bill. We in the Directors Guild are, uh, are in support of, of um, upholding and protecting workers' welfare. At the same time, we, we are also uh, concerned about uh, sustaining uh, production, uh, giving the producers enough, uh, giving them the opportunity to sustain production on an industrial scale. Um, therefore, uh, at the same time, we are concerned about having enough time for the directors to, 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 do, uh, to do their work well, uh, to have enough time, to, uh, to have enough shooting hours, in the shooting day to do their work well. So all of this, and then of course, finally, the fourth interest is the public, uh, the, the, the most important interest is the public's right to good output from the film industry, the film and television industries. So we're all here for, uh, we are in support of workers' rights, a sustainable, productive industry, uh, good quality filmmaking and television making and all of this media making, content making. So it is in that regard that we are the Directors Guild as members of the as a as a member of the Interguild Alliance. We are in support with with the position of the Interguild Alliance. But I would also like to add some things that uh, were probably not mentioned. But I will just summarize everything quickly. No? So uh, the Directors Guild we are in support of the uh, of uh, production insurance. Uh, health ins uh, not not general health insurance for the production members, but uh, insurance uh, for the against accident and health uh, cases uh, on a on a production basis on a per production basis for everybody in production. We are in support of the sixteen hours maximum uh, uh, maximum per day, 16 hours maximum. That would be the working day from the ingress of the first worker to egress of the last worker. Oh, I'm sorry, from uh, call, time, uh, call time of the first worker to tail lights of the last worker. Uh, we are in support of the 10 hour minimum turnaround time. Um, we take uh, reservations about the hazard pay. We do not, we are not in support of the hazard, uh, the hazard pay. Uh, the reason for this is that any risks for stuntmen or production members shooting in dangerous areas or time periods, etc., should be costed or incorporated into the talent fees of the people involved anyway. Uh, and in the production insurance policies against um, death and accidents taken out on the production members, they are already 
they should be uh, people should be insured. Therefore, we are in support of the production insurance anyway. Because of these additional production expenses, DGPI does not support additional hazard pay for anybody. Um, on the nighttime differential, DGPI does not support uh, this nighttime differential. The night scenes are sometimes bunched together into one shooting day that just happens to be scheduled at night. Shooting at night or scheduling a night shoot to constitute one working day separated by turnaround between it and other shooting days before and after it is common practice for more efficient scheduling. Provided that production sticks to 16 hours minimum, I mean, sorry, 16 hours maximum, even at night, separated by 10 hour turnaround time before and after the shoot day, then DGPI sees no justification for a nighttime differential. Uh, regarding overtime pay, the, D, uh, the DGPI uh, is in support of overtime, uh, overtime pay beyond uh, 14 hours, beyond the 14th hour of work. Um, and uh, and however, we are concerned. Uh, we are really more in support of the overtime pay for all below the line workers rather than above the line workers, because it is the below the line workers who does who the overtime. The above the line workers are usually packaged, uh, rated anyway, and it's kind of tricky to. But if if we have to go there, our position is we need the percentages of. Over time, over uh, percentages of the of the hourly that that whole discussion. We leave that to further discussions in the TWG or in the tripartite council. But we really are in support only of overtime for uh, below the line workers. Um, so that's that's. Uh, I would end it at that point, and uh, like look forward to participating in more discussions on this. Thank you very much, Your Honours. Thank you, Direct. Uh, anybody else? Uh, Mr. Manny Morf. Uh, the producer side, right? Producer side. I think they already submitted their position paper now. Anyway, uh, Mr. Manny Morf, the Director General of uh, the uh, uh, Correction Film of IC Palang Po. Okay. Film of IC Senator Sir Strada and Senator Padilla. Ang Film Academy ay uh, meron lang mga plano at mga desisyon tungkol dito sa bill na pinag-uusapan natin lahat ng araw pa. Kaya I'm speaking of beha on behalf of the Film Academy as what we have planned years ago even during the time of uh, Leo Martinez. We support, uh, I'm here, we've been listening, nakikinig po kami sa lahat ng binibigay na opinyon ng iba't ibang organisasyon and we... Uh, we agreed on some parts at lalong lalo na po sa working hours we agreed on that we agreed on that ang film academy ay binubuo din ng ibang uh, iba't ibang samahan ng mga manggagawa sa pelikulang Pilipino at kami ay sumusuporta sa mga binabanggit nila ng mga uh, ng mga working hours except lang po I, and I would like to stress ang amin pong stand ay Wala pong extension whatsoever. 16-hour work is period. There should be no extension or kahit po bayaran because mas mahalaga po sa Film Academy ang paglagahan ng kalusugan ng manggagawa. Ang kailangan po ng manggagawa, especially to the, the kind of work that I belong to, uh, I am a production designer ever since at wala po akong alam na trabaho kundi ito na ayan kaharap po natin ang mga manggagawa na isa sa pinakamahirap na trabaho sa pelikula ay ang art department ang production design. Kami po ay nagsiset up uh, ahead of time, two hours before at kami din po yung huli umalis two hours after. So ang point po namin is Wala pong extension. I would like to use the word period. Kahit na po ano sabihin ng iba. Kasi po pag tayo po yung iba, magbibigay ng second unit, second uh, team. Hindi po yun applicable. As in, like po sa akin, ibig mo sabihin, pag ako, matapos na, 
pagpapasok ko ng ibang production designer, that is not applicable. So we request this uh, group of people, so let's fight for uh, a period, 16 hours period. Wala pong extent. So kahit bayaran ka pa ng dobi ng producer, it doesn't really matter. Money is not a matter when it comes to considering our health. That is our stand on this uh, Eddie Garcia bill. Sa lahat po ng mga uh, panakala dito, we support it. Kaya we would like just to stress deeply there should be no extension, no reason, nothing at all. Let's, uh, let's fight for that. We don't need uh, more money. We need protection for our health. So we could work uh, na mas matagal pa sa industriya. Maraming salamat po sa lahat. Thank you, Mr. Mani. Just a curious question, Mr. Morphe. How many guilds are under Film Academy? Uh, sa Film Academy, po, we have uh, 12 guilds. Uh, 12 po. Uh, mga cinematografiya, uh, sa script writing, production design. Uh, kamukha din po ng Inter-Guild Alliance. They have 14 kasi sinama po nila. We're almost the same group of workers. Uh, mga script writers, uh, sound uh, technicians, sound engineers. Pati po ang dalawang asosasyon ng mga producers are under the Film Academy of the Philippines, which was established way back in 1981. Okay, uh, yung bang Inter-Guild Alliance at yung Film Academy, nagkakaisa ba kayo? Well, uh, sa the guilds that uh, you represent. Well, kasi, okay. wait, so, kasi okay. meron so, tayong cop, tapos meron tayong aktor, pero yung iba sa sa mga producers guild iba yung sa director ano ito mga no, breakaway group ba ito no? uh, wala po akong maibibigay na komento kundi okay lang po kasi ang nakita ko po kasi doon uh, sarili ko pong opinion kami po ay mga old timers na sa pelikula oh. na sila ay parang well ang nakita ko po noon where they were establishing uh, somehow they do not believe in the membership of the Academy Guild because uh, they were uh, they are considered old timers. They are the uh, the new breed of workers which are working presently in the industry. But ang ami naman ang aking masasabi is yung aming kakayanan. But we are not uh, in difference with the IGA. Uh, ang pinaglalaban nila kaya nga po ako we did not. Uh, uh, presented a working paper uh, uh, proposal because, as I have heard, I, I agree on the proposal of 16 hours. I do. Sa dami-dami po na ipapaibibigay na mga uh, position papers, masyado na pong magulo. Ang nakikita ko po, just, uh, well, I'm not uh, modesty aside, I would rather to speak to everybody uh, kasi ang amin sa Film Academy ay eh, magkaisa tayo regardless of ano pa sinamahan mo Kasi pag hindi po tayo nagkaisa mga kababayan ko, mga tiga-pinikula, uh, kahit na sampung uh, senador ang mag-usap-usap, hindi po tayo makakabuo ng kahit na isang uh, alitintunin para sa industriya. Hindi po yan mabubuo. I would like to stress that. Let's unite finally in order to establish a one a set of working rules and regulation for the whole industry. I beg of you people. Uh, I'm, I've been there for quite so long. Pag hindi po na pagbigyan yung kanilang opinion ng isang grupo, gagawa ng bagong grupo. Hindi na pansin yung grupo nila, gagawa na naman. Wala pong katapusan. Para po tayo mga Pilipinos sa abroad. Kanya-kanyang gawaan ng mga, ng mga grupo. Ay, nako, ito po, uh, kahit ng silinyo, we're working on a unification of all the stakeholders in the movie industry. That, well, as I have mentioned in our past meeting, and we call it a summit. And ako, I am uh, working for that unification of all uh, working people in the industry, regardless of ano pangalan mo, ikaw man, SEC, one si Pepe, ka as ano, important po, sa ano ba industriya mo? Isa lang naman po eh the one ng pelikula. Hindi po ba? Uh, well, I would like to uh, yung pasensya na po yung word ni Mr. Uh, Carlos Siguray na kanina na ano yung word niya? Yung uh, hindi yung lesser uh, yung below, the, below, the line. below the line. Hindi ko po tinutukulan because I consider the guidance of ikaw ay tiga set up ka lang ng tent. Tiga set up ka ng, ng uh, mga 
lahat ng ginagamit, mga ginagamit sa paggawa ng pelikula, level-level lang yan. At we support a non-extension for working hours because regardless na ikaw ay artista, regardless na ikaw ay director, regardless na ikaw ay utility level, we should be the level on a one level line uh, that we are workers of the industry. That I would like to speak that way hindi po tayo nagkakagulo-gulo. Iba-iba uh, lang po ang halaga ng sinasahod natin. Ang pinagtatramahan po natin ay isang industriya lamang. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Mr. Mani. That is what I uh, mentioned during our last uh, consultation hearing uh, last Saturday. If we cannot get our acts together in the movie industry, we cannot achieve anything here. That is why uh, sana magkaisa na kayo, yung mga breakaway group. Breakaway group daw. Kasi sabi ni Madam Imelda Papin, who is the, I think who is the president of uh, the CAP, bakit merong isang grupong akto? Bakit hindi kayo magsama? Sabi, breakaway group daw kayo. Can you please comment on that? Uh, kayo raw, yung mga... Yung mga members daw ng actor, mga class daw, mga matataas. Yun, yun daw uh, mga members nila, medyo uh, hindi masyadong sikat. Um, siguro, konting uh, konteksto lang po kung paano na buo actor. Um, nabuo po kasi yung actor nung height ng pandemic, nung panahon nung, na hindi namin alam kung anong mangyayari sa industriya, kung anong gagawin namin. Uh, and we just started with a small community of actors na kami-kami nag-uusap. May mga common may mga common beliefs kami, may mga common aspirations. And in that moment, sabi namin, sige, bakit hindi natin itagawin itong grupo na to for our community who are really very active uh, presently. Um, hindi lang naman to, uh, sa mga issue na ganito ang, ang layunin ng, ano, ng, uh, ng actor sa pagbuo ng organisasyon. Meron din kaming mga layunin katulad ng pagtatayo ng mga social enterprise. So my point is, may specific needs po bawat isang grupo. And yung sa amin po, Uh, yung sa grupo namin actor with 150 members, um, ito po yung isang mechanism. Many members? 150, 150 po. Compared namin po to 1,000 plus daw sila. Yes, mm. um, pero ang, ang gusto ko rin pong stress dito ay yung position po na ibinigay namin while I, I agree and I believe that we should be under one industry. Lahat po iisa lang gusto natin. Um, whether masunod po yung position namin or not, gusto rin po namin talagang ibahagi yon dahil yun po ang feedback ng aming members. Yun po ang uh, gin ginawa namin through proper consultation with them at yun po yung resulta ng mga na-experience nila currently on the ground. Dahil very peculiar po yung ating industriya, marami pong nagbabago every week, uh, every day. Kaya ito po yung ano, ito po yung basis ng aming position na, na ibinibigay ngayon. But of course, um, We agree na talagang dapat naman under one industry po tayo. Pero may iba-ibang interest din po kasi ang bawat grupo. But, and I also want to encourage kasi hindi lang naman po, marami pa pong grupo ang hindi organized. Like the makeup artists um, and many, many uh, different uh, groups within the whole industry. Kagaya po ng mga exercise na gina ginawa namin with the IGA. Na napakarami makabuluhan ng mga ideas na, na lumabas para sa development ng buong sector. And We are very much open to collaborate with all uh, the existing, you know, existing groups. Again, under the under one um, intention and goal uh, to unify and to uh, um, further develop the industry and push it further. Before you established actor, did you uh, reach out to the other, you know, sa cap? That um, the guild? Sa, sa totoo lang po, hindi po kami aware na it was. Uh, <clears throat> really that that active in terms of uh, addressing the current needs um, mm -hmm. kasi parang ang ang mga nandoon lang po ay yung existing viber groups uh, wala pong means of so walang walang members. contribution so hindi hindi naman po sa ganun pero siguro it's more of kung ano yung pangangailangan ng panahon na yon especially during the pandemic yun po yung hindi yun po yung hinahanap namin kaya rin siguro right. nagkaroon ng ganitong klase okay. You you just mentioned earlier that uh, you established that organization during the pandemic. Just just July, June? No, no, May. The height of the pandemic. Pandemic. The height. Okay. First. Uh, <laughs> siguro mga one to two months. Uh, uh, in, in the. What in have the... you contributed to the movie workers? Have you 
did you have any project re- with regard to the movie workers? Wala kayong ano? Wala pa? Mostly po sa within our community of actors po. Ah, within your community? Yes already. po, yes po. But we are very much in collaboration with Mowell Fund. Meron po kami mga projects with them um, with regards to yung mga benefits ng, ng, uh, ng members ng Mowell yeah. Fund. So may mga ganong partnerships din po kami in-establish. And um, that's why we, we reiterate that uh, we are open to partnering with like-minded groups, again, with the intention of unifying the industry. Did they reach out to you? Yung cap? Uh, because according ko. to Madam Imelda Papin, they were trying to reach out though sa inyong group. But um, you... Personally, I have not received any um, any invitation. Hmm. Uh, but uh, definitely, I we are very much willing to uh, But do you think magkakaisa kayo? Definitely. Sa, sa yun yun natin yun naman po dapat. Yeah. Uh, Direct Car- uh, Carlitas, you were raising your hand. Uh, yeah, um, you know, um, Mr. Chair. Yeah, um, I, uh, we're really, yeah, I think uh, regarding the concern, no, no, Mr. Chair, of, uh, your concern about uh, 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 getting getting the voices together, I think, uh, ako, ako lang, I mean, uh, I, I, I don't think we have to worry about it because we can all get together on things that we all agree on the bill, even if we're from different groups. Uh, and as far as as far as kung uh, about yung nabanggit lang about uh, the the difference of the groups, no, I will just speak for the DGPI, uh, the the origins of the DGPI. Yes, we are a breakaway group from the from the KDPP, which is a kapisana ng mga director ng pelikula ng Pilipino. I'm a founding member of the breakaway group called DGPI. Yes, it is a breakaway. When was this established? This is 1994. In the re- DGPI 1994. Pa? Yes, uh, and the reason is um, not because of it. Uh, it was not. Uh, because matatanda na ang tagat KDPP because I'm of the same age group as the people who are in KDPP. So matanda rin ako. Uh, I, uh, ang, uh, the reason is because, the reason, the orig- original reason is because uh, ang, ang, ang concerns principally, and I, I find that in, at least in, the, in, in our case, no, uh, we, we wanted to set, uh, focus on concerns, so let's say, yung mga... Um, education, uh, uh, concentrating on on uh, getting you know like uh, uh, certain issues that affect the the art and craft of filmmaking, such as mga censorship, mga ganong issues. Uh, uh, the, the directors guild at that time basically the main concern was uh, welfare issues. And I find, I, I, I personally, I'm not speaking for the DGPI at this point. I just want to make it clear. Uh, I, I think, ang ano, ang, I mean, just for this statement, ang ano, uh, I think ang, ang, that's, that's basically the divide sa tingin ko lang, is that uh, ang, ang, ang fact is concerned principally about welfare issues, which is great, no movie welfare issues. We are also concerned about that. Um, but we're concerned about uh, things other than welfare issues. You know, education, parang development, uh, we're, uh, pushing films, uh, Philippine films uh, locally and abroad. So there are a lot of things that we're concerned with that uh, are not really, which I feel young, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I feel that are not the priorities of fact. So uh, that's why my divide number one between the the GP, But we are we are ready to work with that, and we can we can align and definitely come together on things that we agree on. Kind of away from different groups. We have we have another man. I, I would like to think that we have that mutual respect. But it's not about because matatanda ni mga taga FAP. Hindi po yun. Hindi ko alam kasi anong galing yun. Thank you. Thank you, Director uh, Litas. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the late Res Cortez. <laughs> Patricia. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I would just like to address also the concern of Mr. Morfe. Uh, we do believe that um, the several guilds that we have under IGA and also under FAP can coexist. Um, we believe that the workers should have the freedom to organize themselves as they see fit as long as you know they find the group that 
they feel aligns with their beliefs. To provide context also, the IGA was actually formed during the height of the pandemic along with um, everyone else here. We helped, we partnered with PMPPA at that time as well in terms of um, crafting the protocols, the, what we believe should be the COVID protocols for the industry working during the time of the pandemic. And that's, I, I would say, that's how we came to life as an umbrella organization of these 14 groups. And um, to assure also, Mr. Morfe, we are willing to um, align with you on any other um, concerns or issues for the industry. Appreciate <laughs> um, so we could as have a unified um, a unified industry altogether. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, uh, umpisa na natin yung mga question and answer. Okay, we had two informal uh, discussions and consultations uh, two weeks ago and last week. Yes, Miss uh, Villanueva. Sorry to interrupt, sir. Um, I'm Titi Villanueva from the Theatre Actors Guild. Nakapag-present na po ako ng position paper namin last uh, hearing. Theatre and Actors Group? Uh, Theatre Actors Guild, okay. sir. Opo. Um, on the topic of joining forces and um, yung recognize na meron pa pong mga unorganized groups sa industry natin, um, I would like to read the position paper galing po sa isang grupo ng mga um, Workers from the film and television industry, hindi pa po sila sec registered, pero pakiramdam ko po, importante pong marinig yung kanilang gustong sabihin. Okay po, sir. Basahin ko po. Is that uh, how many pages? Uh, Bibinisan ko po, sir. Mga uh, two and one third. Single line? <laughs> hmm. Okay, sir. Okay, Pos position papel para sa inihahapag na panukalang batas para sa mga manggagawa ng entertainment industry. Ipina ipinapaabot ng mga manggagawa sa entertainment industry, panginahin mga manggagawa sa mga produksyon sa telebisyon at pelikula, ang pagbati sa mga senador at mambabata sa paghahapag ng mga isyong kinahaharap namin. Ipinapaabot rin namin ang kauspusong pasasalamat sa mga bumuo ng panukalang batas na pinamagatang an act protecting the welfare of workers or independent contractors in the film, television, and radio entertainment industry. Kasama na rin ang iba pang mga versyon nito na pinaniniwalaan naming magiging susi sa tuloy-tuloy na pagpapasa ng mga batas na magbibigay proteksyon sa aming mga karapatan at kagalingan. Ang mga manggagaw sa telebisyon at pelikula na pangunahing nakasalang sa pinakamahihirap na mga trabaho upang maghatid ng mataas na kalidad ng mga produksyon para sa promosyon ng ating lokal na sining at kultura. Kami ay mga gaffer, electrician, lightsman, cameraman, mga karaniwang crew at staff, department, setmen, utility, drivers, at iba pa na nasa likod ng mga produksyon. Marami sa amin ay hapong-hapong sa mahigit 24 oras na nagtatrabaho sa tuwing mayroong produksyon. Marami din sa amin sa kabila ng napakahihirap na kalagayan sa trabaho ay tumatanggap ng sahod na napakababa kumpara sa oras na aming inilalaan sa pagtatrabaho. Sa kabuuan, ang nakikita namin pinakamalaking usapin sa kinahaharap ng mga manggagawa sa entertainment industry ay ang kawalan ng sustinibong trabaho. Halos lahat, kung hindi man lahat, ay biregular ang trabaho, biregular ang trabaho at lagi may panganib na mawala ng hanap buhay sa kabila ng napakal napakalaking papel namin sa promosyon at papalaganap ng lokal na kulturang Pilipino sa pamamagitan ng mga produksyon ng mga pelikula at laba sa telebisyon. Madaling akalain na mataas ang sahod dahil aabot sa isang libo hanggang tatlong libo kada araw ang kinikita. Ngunit sa kabilang banda, nasa tatlo hanggang apat na araw kada linggo lamang ang trabaho na ang katangian ay mahahabang oras ng trabaho na umaabot ng anim na po hanggang 24 oras o higit pa bawat araw. Narito pa ang ilang mga punto para mas mailara, mailarawan namin ang aming mga kalagayan. Isa, 
Mapanganib na katangian ng pagtatrabaho tulad ng pagbubuhat at operate ng mabibigat ng mga equipment para sa set. Exposure sa mga high voltage na wires at generators. Exposure sa mga hazardous materials na kailangan sa set na sa kabila nito ay walang hazard pay ang mga staff na nakatoka sa mga ito. Pangalawa, ang freelance na katawagan ay nagpapalabnaw sa relasyong employee-employer. Sa madaling sabi, maliban pa sa kawalan ng katiyakan sa trabaho, hindi rin malinaw ang mga pananag pananagutan dahil hindi depinibo kung sino ba ang mayor na employer ng mga manggagawa. Pangatlo, samot sa ring mga problema sa payslip, kawalan ng overtime at night differential pay. Pangapat, kawalan ng mga panginahing serbisyo tulad ng SSS, pag-ibig, PhilHealth at iba pa. Panglima, diskriminasyon sa iba't ibang antas tulad ng verbal abuse sa mga low-level employees, sa mga kababaihan at LGBTQIA+, at iba pang perma ng abuso. Hinihingin namin na mas maging malinaw ang definisyon ng employer o principal dahil ito ang pangunahin magtatakda ng mas malinaw na pananagutan sa bawat partido. Sa section 4 ng definition of terms, nakikita namin hindi ito malinaw na nakasaad. Sa kabuuan, ang employer o principal ay ang management ng production house at suppliers na siyang pangunahing nagha-hire at napapasahod sa mga manggagawa kung kaya't nasa kanila rin ang pananagutan na pinagaan ang kapakanan ng mga manggagawa tulad ng pag Papasahod ng tama, pagtitiyak ng makataong workplace, at pagtitiyak ng mga serbisyo at benepisyo. Ang mga employee naman, o sa madaling sabi, ay mga stakeholders ng panukalang batas ay ang mga sumusunod. Directors, assistant directors, cinematographers, cameramen and camera operators, assistant cameramen, focus pullers, DIT, script continuity, production designers, set men and carpenters, art department, art director, drivers, hair and makeup, prosthetics, wardrobe, production assistants, writers, stuntmen, actors and background actors, medics, light crew, gaffers, key grip, editors, colorists, sound recordists, sound designers, boom operators, security officers, utilities, location managers, at lahat ng mga manual laborers at iba pang mga pinapasahod ng mga production, production houses at suppliers. Ang inisyatiba namin na magpasa ng position paper ay nasa, nasa diwa ng pagmamagandang loob at pakikipagtulungan sa lahat ng mga grupo at individual dahil nais naming pagandahin ang kalagayan sa pagawa upang mas makapaghatid ng magagandang palabas at produksyon. Umaasa kaming ang lahat ng mga pagsisikap na ito ay magsisilbi sa interes ng mga manggagawa. Malaking bagay ito hindi lamang para sa aming kapakanan kundi sa kapakanan ng aming mga pamilya. Ang aming trabaho ay naging malaking parte na ng buhay namin dahil dito napaaral namin ang aming mga anak, matustusan ng arawang gasto sa bahay at iba pa. Gagawin namin ang lahat ng aming makakaya sa pangunahin ang maging magbunga ito para sa kapakanan ng mga manggagawa at para sa promosyon ng sining at kultura ng ating bansa. Yun lamang sir. Thank you po. Okay, maraming salamat, uh, Madam uh, Ms. Villanueva. Uh, Doon sa binanggit mo kanina, sa number three, samot sa mga problema sa payslip, kawalan overtime at night differential pay. So, itong mga kagrupo mo, hindi sila binabayaran overtime, tsaka, ano, yan, ito yung pagkakaintindi ko, correct? Apa, sir, hindi pa. Okay. Kawalan ng mga pangunahing serbisyo tulad ng SSS, Pag-ibig, PhilHealth, at iba pa. Paano, paano, paano mo uh, paano mo mabibigyan ng SSS o Pag-ibig o PhilHealth itong mga taong nabanggit mo 
eh hindi naman sila nakakontrata. So how do you do that? Um, pakiramdam ko yun din po sir, sana yung gusto po nilang ma mapag-usapan po Kasi dito. usually, usually, based from experience, yung mga crew, minsan nasa production ni Robin, minsan nasa production ko, paano mo mabibigyan ng, ng minsan naglalagari sila, pag kunwari, isang araw sa akin, tapos lilipat sila sa shooting ni Robin, nagdun din ulit sila magtatrabaho. So, walang, walang definite na, uh, na, na trabaho. Di ba? Nag, kung, Kumbaga naglalagari sila. So paano mo mabibigyan ng Can you can you apprise or can you educate this sa committee kung paano natin mabibigyan yung mga mga SSS feel healthy to mga ganito klasing uh, nagtatrabaho? Um I wish I could answer sir in a more uh, informed uh, manner. Pero sir, ang, ang nakikita ko pong uh, gusto po nilang mapag-usapan po talaga kasi meron po sa kanilang um, ilang taon na po nagtatrabaho sa mga kumpanya o mga production houses or mga network pero hindi po sila uh, nagiging regular. Kaya hindi, yun nga po. Hindi po these, are, these are not regular employees. O nga po. Pero meron po talaga sa kanilang more than 10 years, more than 20 okay. years na pong... Do we have any representative yeah, from the SSS or PhilHealth here? SSS? Okay, can you uh, please uh, state for the record the options for the uh, film workers uh, to become members of SSS? Yes, Mr. Chair, your honors. Good morning. Um, such workers mentioned by Ms. Villanueva are considered self-employed yeah, because they are working, earning income, but do not have an employer. So, uh, bilang self-employed, kailangan po sana mag-register sila sa SSS bilang self-employed at maghulog ng contributions to SSS bilang self-employed. Uh, that's why in our submissions, um, Mr. Chair, your honors, is to add sana a specific provision requiring such workers or independent contractors to to register with SSS first before they are engaged by the employer, principal, or producer. Uh, both SSS and the uh, employer, principal, producer, and the self-employed person himself or herself has a role po, uh, Mr. Chair, your honors, in um, registering with SSS and paying contributions accordingly, Mr. Chair. I feel that, uh, yes, sir, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, it's the same principle. Uh, the actors, actresses, and other in the film industry, in the TV industry, they are considered to be independent contractors or uh, self-paying individuals. So they are required to be uh, members of PhilHealth, and they will contribute their own uh, premium contribution to PhilHealth as independent contractors. Okay, big. Um, Mr. Chair, for Pagibi Fund, gano'n din po. Uh, yun pong ating mga uh, kasamahan po doon sa film, movie, television, uh, and radio industry po na hindi po sila formally employed, uh, uh, pwede po mag-register mag po sa Pagibi Fund bilang self-employed uh, individuals po. Uh, pag self-employed po kasi po, yung employer-employee uh, counterpart, sila po yung magre-remit po at magre-register. Uh, yung naman pong nasa formal uh, sector, uh, ang kom kompanya po, o yung kanyang pinagkatrabuhan, ang siya po magde-deduct ng employer share at magre-remit ng employer share at sa pag-ibig fund po. So, cover na po ni pag-ibig fund yung mga nasa uh, other working groups po. Uh, include na po yan sa aming uh, implementing rules and regulations ng pag-ibig fund po under Rule 5, Section 3G ng uh, RA 9679 po. So, kapag po self-employed, sila po yung may obligasyon na mag-deduct and remit sa pag-ibig fund po. Right. Oh. Ma maliwan maliwan agad lang ako no. Magre-register sila. This is a Phil Health SSS pagibig. Walang bayad diyan ah. Wala. Wala pa Mr. Chief. Libre. Yes, Mr. All right. Thank you. Wala na. So, okay, just to give you a brief background with regard to the uh, consultations and discussions uh, the two consultations and discussion last week. Kasi medyo informal yun. Ngayon, gagawin natin formal. Okay, during our dialogue with the members of the entertainment industry last September 15, 
Si Mr. Coco Martin mentioned that his production team is currently doing a 12-hour taping day. Kasama na po dito ang oras ng para sa tanghalian, merienda, sumag at hapon. Ang sabi po niya, kaya naman po itong gawin at ang kailangan lamang disiplina sa pagsunod sa oras. This matter continue to be an important topic, even the second dialogue with the stakeholders. Okay, may we hear for the record the position of our stakeholders regarding this proposal? Gawin lang natin formal to kasi we I already uh, uh, got the answers from some stakeholders concerned during our last uh, consultation. Sino pwede sumagot? Kaya raw gawin ni Coco Martin 12-hour taping and when I ask him if it is applicable to the movies, sabi niya, yes, it is applicable. Kung kaya niya 12 hours, di mas mabuti, but I don't think it might not sit well with the producers. Kita mo, nagtataasan ng kamay si Percy. Percy. Thank you, Your Honor. Chair, Mr. Chairman, um, yes, um, each production is different. Um, and each setup is different. For instance, in some soap opera productions, they can have they can have two to three units running at the same time, which maximizes their productivity. But in film, usually it's just one unit that's running. So if we have, say, seven days to finish a film and you only have 12 hours to finish it, that really limits the, the creative output of your product. Um, we also note that each each director who ultimately is the leader of each production uh, has different ways of doing things. Some directors really come a lot prepared. Some directors are a bit more on the fly, but the output is still like this quite good, you know, quite the same. So as producers, we need to give leeway for that. So we cannot restrict everybody to say and just say that, oh, you prepare better and then you finish in 12 hours because we're not in a manufacturing industry where every product is the same. Each product is different, and there has to be that creative freedom for directors to do their jobs with enough leeway for them, enough buffer for them to change their minds, you know, do something a bit better, you know, spend more time on something. Plus, uh, as we no noted in our last discussion, uh, Ch Mr. Chairman, each genre is also different. There are, some, there are some genres that really require more time. Anything with fantasy, anything with prosthetics takes more time. Anything that's horror, which usually runs at night, which everybody knows people walk, people move a lot slower when, when, when you're working late at night. So those things affect uh, the number of working hours. That's why we are espousing that we maintain 16 hours. I think that's a sweet spot for everybody. 16 hours period, according to my according to Mr. Manimor. Plan extension. We, our only clarification, and I think this is going to be in the technical working group already, is that we cannot, we cannot even if we want to start from the first person on set to the last person on set, we have to consider that if a director has 16 hours of work, there will be people working before the director arrives. So it cannot be counted. Because you, otherwise, what will happen is we come from the first person on that and the director is only working for 10 hours now because there's six hours of preparation before the director comes or whatever. So that's why we are espousing that we become a bit more flexible. The goal here is that each person should work a maximum of 16 hours. Yes. All right. Father Sakamai. Yeah, I was just about to say, uh, to make it clear also, one of the points and it's a pinugu uh, your, your honor, your working hours, um, by, 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 kasi masabi, are based on travel. Pero nga nagsasabi, dapat mag-umpisa raw, yung first scene na kukunan sa'yo, mag-umpisa yung time. Ito yung isang gawain, malibawa sa akin, nangyari niya, uh, lumabas ako sa isang malabas kung on, ka, on, on call and po prosthetic makeup ako so two and a half hours I'm doing lang ako sa makeup so kung din mag-umpisa sa call I mean not taking the same from the producer but hindi na yung producer sa akin two and a half hours dahil may makeup ang palang ako eh so mawawala na kagad yung yung two and a half hours so, kung mara ang call time mo six o'clock in the morning pag ang pinag-usapan natin sixteen hours so, dapat tapos ka na ng 10 in the evening, correct? 
Alam mo, kung nag-day sa yung call time, yes, so, kung nag-day yes. sa call time. Ngayon, pag 6 o'clock na dumating, tapos papamakeup ka pa, prosthetic, sa tulad ng sinama, 2 hours and a half, yeah. so minus yun, bago yeah. wala yun. Yung din na nga yung views, dahil kung sa call, yung views yung 16 hours ko, maandar na ako ng 6 o'clock, kung call ko 6 o'clock, maandar na yung time ko. Mm-hmm. Kahit na hindi pa ako nakukunan, hindi may kapang pa lang ako. Kanya, parang one of the one of the details nga na dapat maklarify, I mean, should it really be all time or should it be the first thing that But what is the pleasure of the producers? And of course, I will also get the opinion of uh, yung know, grupo niya. Um, Mr. Chairman, I think um, we have to discuss this, to be honest, because um, of course it is advantageous. Thank you very much, uh, Chair Tirso, for pointing that out. Because it would be better for us if it's from roll time, because then we can shoot a lot from more time. Roll, from the time oh, the cameras start rolling. However, we right. do acknowledge that there are individuals whose work starts a lot earlier, as for instance pointed out by location managers. They arrive much earlier than, call, than the roll time. The people who pull out the camera equipment work a lot earlier than the roll time. So that's why we think that there's a lot more discussion that should happen when we go into the details. Thank you, Chair. Uh, you want to comment on it? Or the inter-guild na lang sasagot? Yeah. Thank you, Chair. Um, to, to address the concerns on working hours, it usually po kasi sa pelikula, then um, I don't know po if Mr. Coco Martin specified if the 12 hours he mentioned included the setup and the the set down nung shooting nila per day did, did, pag grind did, ng camera ah pag grind um ang position po ng IGA talaga ang nalulugi yung below the line uh, to use the technical term um kasi sila yung nauna sa set we also recognize the fact na um if we consider the per hour um time of each crew member then that would also um bloat the budget so to speak if we are to uh, um if we are to a lot for shifts in the production set just to maximize then the day for the shooting but overall hindi rin naman po usually ang nangyayari sa pelikula as mentioned by uh, direct Percy one unit lang talaga usually in any movie set kaya um to give due recognition to already the efforts of every person once they step onto the location um it is our recommendation nakasama from the first man on set to the last man out hindi na nga po namin sinama yung travel time Ay, hindi niyo sinama all right so pagdating sa set pag kunwari call time ng mga artista 6 o'clock in the morning Siyempre, ma- maaga yung mga crew doon. Mas mauna yung mga crew doon. Siyempre, yung set up pa. Correct? Pag dumating ang mga crew ng alas 5 ng umaga, kasi 6 o'clock or 1 hour before the uh, call time, so dapat umalis sila ng 10 o'clock, ano, uh, 11. 11 o'clock ng gabi. Yeah. Uh, Halim- nag-vary po yan kasi most productions they provide transportation so yung depende po sa sunduan ng services but it's usually may house to house oo mga two hours before at least yung first man kasi sila pa rin yung huling aalis sa set eh opo para okay. maglikpet okay. kasi mag, mag ano babaklas pa sila kung ano ano babaklas nila ron so anong what is your recommendation 16 po 16 maximum. Po maximum. So yung flexibility po um would be per production na lang how to maximize that 16 hours every day. Period. <laughs> no overtime pay. Yes. Kahit pa kayo sapa ng producer, baka pwede additional 2 hours bigla lang namin ng ano. Po, um as far as IJ is concerned, usually ganyan naman nangyayari. Internal uh, na pag-uusap nilang between the producers and yung mga suppliers. Yes, Ay, Marpista, sir. Minsan pinakikiusapan yan eh. Yes, sir. Opo. Diba? 
I so, think even 10 okay, flyers. Kimbawa, naka 16 hours sa Tirso Cruz. Tapos meron, meron pang isang eksena na na hindi pa natatapos. So, eh, gusto nang umalis si Tirso Cruz kasi 16, 16 hours na. Tapos pakikiusapin ng producer, baka pwede yung isang eksena pa. Eh kung mag-walk out yung artista, paano? Hindi na beaten. Di ba? So, pag nilalagay natin sa batas, 16 hours, at pag umalis ang, pag natapos ang, pag nandun na yung, pag nakapagtrabaho na isang artista na 16 hours, obligado na silang umalis, unless pakiusapan sila ng producer. Kaya meron mga artista na ganun, pagka sinabi sa batas, 16 hours, alis na sila. Regardless kung meron pa silang big scene or whatever. Um, it's very rare na yung artista po yung na pinakamatagal. If anything, they would be the um, the the group of people okay. na sh- yung mga big time workers. Apa? Pag nat- natap- na- nakapagtrabaho na sila 16 hours, tapos meron po natitira malaki eksena. Ar- Ar- Pagpapalis sila, di pakap na rin shooting. Opo. Hmm. Y- yun po yung recommendation ng IGA. Hindi. Another additional burden sa producer siya dahil kung meron naghihintay na big scene tapos nakapagtrabaho na ng 16 hours, syempre alis na yun, pagod na yung mga tao. Yes. Um, good morning po, I'm Anne Monzon, President of Lupo ng Pilipinong Cinematograph po, which is the Cinematographers Guild. Um, under us po yung lighting and camera department which hmm. constitutes a lot of the workers on set. Um, I hope I can rep in a way, although they're not organized, I hope I can speak for them as their department head. Kami po yung department heads nila. Um, in the case po na pin... Na... Sir, Senator, um, while mas maaga nga po dumadating, pinakamaaga po dumarating yung production design, art department. So, um, by the IJA call of 16 hours only hard stop it will count as we already mentioned earlier the first person in and the last person out whether or not ma fulfill uh, that is it doesn't matter how long any of the other departments work within those 16 hours sana po nasa batas 16 lang hard stop for the last person whoever it is who leaves on set so kung ang artista po ay kinailangan lang ng 12 hours. Thank you po. Pakap na po sila. Pero yung unit po namin na magsiseta pa po, nagsishoot pa po kami minsan ng mga close-up, ng mga kamay, ng mga puno, mga establishing shots. Yung mga tao po namin, and then yung mga tao po ng art department na set down pa po after pa po nung aming technical team, sana po, pasok po lahat, saklaw po dun sa 16 hours, and wala na pong negotiations after that. The overtime po sana will be something that is contractually agreed upon on a case-to-case or a per-project basis. Depende po if a person or a unit or whoever is involved in the project wants to set the set the time at 12 hours or 14 hours and then overtime after that. But all in all, one work day for everybody should stop at 16 hours. Thank you. Yes, ding dong. Uh, pandagdag lang po, um, since we are in the creative industry, sa totoo lang po yung, uh, yung mga performers, um, mas marami pong oras ang pahinga namin versus yung mga mas maraming tao sa set na literally and figuratively mas mabibigat at uh, mas malalaki ang binubuhat. Um, kung doon po sa tanong na kung pakiusapan ay papayag ba mag I am pretty sure papayag at papayag po. Uh, because sabi nga in the, in the industry, because we are in the creative industry, we won't stop until we get the job done. Kaya it is our hope na meron po talagang kahit pa paano framework sa pamamagitan ng batas na ito na pwede nating balikan. Kasi with, kung, kung sa uh, pakiusapan, sigurado papayag at papayag. Pero kung meron po tayong sinasandalan, at least may basihan po. And, um, You're magkakaroon. talking about... Imartista, papayag at papayag. Hey, uh, kahit, oh, po, everyone po eh, everyone. Uh, for including those. Kami po ay papayag, disyempre lahat po damay-damay na. 
So gusto po namin um, yung protection na to, yung 16 hours, kung ano po mang number yon. In fact, wag lang po sanang mabalik sa dating practice. Whatever the committee agrees on is a win for us. Uh, para lang uh, across the board, mula sa um, first person in or any person part of the crew across the board, uh, whether artista po man or crew or staff, ay uh, ma 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 maproteksyonan itong uh, working hours po na ito. You may know what was the pre Previous practice before? Iba-iba po. <laughs> Gusto niyo po ba yung best and worst <laughs> namin lahat? <laughs> Chair? Yeah. I mean, um, ang max ko po po yata ay umabot ng 36 or... 36 40. hours straight? Yes, palipat-lipat po ng location. 36 hours? Opo. Ano ito, TV or shooting? TV po. Okay. Okay. Non-stop po. Non-stop po. Non-stop po. Non-stop po. Non-stop po. I mean... Walang pahinga, walang tulog. Ay, chair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sa, ang magiging pahinga on ay kung halimbawa bumaklas, travel, kasi uh, depende po yun. I think I've experienced that to my experience. You have 36 hours, Martista. Artista, artista lang. Ako po yun. Ako po yun. Ako po yun. Artista, 36 hours. What more yung mga, mga crew? Exactly. Mga production designer. Mas matagal yun. Kaya po ang kaya po yun talaga ang hinihiling namin na ang ang dating nakatawian ay iwan na natin sa nakaraan. Sir, 36 hours isa uh yes po, chair. Ang bayad sa inyo isang araw? Yes po. Tang ina niyan. Sorry. Strike of the record yung <laughs> Sir, may huling uh, pandagdag na lang po. Um Totoo po yan, may mga gandong um, realities po on the ground. Um, pero, <laughs> yes. oh, pero ito pong mga uh, pinopropose namin ay base sa mga best practices. Dahil napatunayan po na it is possible na kung ganito po ang ating window ay merong decent amount of creative output for as long as efficient po ang lahat at, nagka, at nagkakasundo. Yung sinabi po ni uh, Mr. Coco Martin, totoo po yan, na posible po yan, at maganda pa rin ang kinalalabasan, everybody is uh, safe and happy across the board. Even the 16 hours has basis na it has been done. In fact, nung pandemic po, mas, mas naging very, 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 very strict po ang lahat. At nagkakaroon, nag, nagkaroon din naman po ng mga magandang output. Although, syempre, pag uh, mas hinabaan pa natin yan, mas, mas marami pa po tayo magagawa. So again, ang point ko lang po, yung these recommendations are based on the best practices na po pwede po siyang mangyari kahit na may mga limitasyon pong ganito. Thank you, Ding Dong. Uh, rest assured, itong 36 hours hindi mangyayari under this bill. No? If we have this, uh, uh, if this law will be, in, if this bill will be enacted in the law, so siguraduhin natin walang ganyan na mangyayari. Katulad ng sinabi ni Isa, uh, yung nakaraan, iwanan na natin sa nakaraan. Yes, direct. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I think yung ano kasi, yung 16 hours that is being considered, ano yun eh, yung nga hard stop yun, maximum. Uh, wala nang overtime that's being considered in that proposal beyond the 16. The only the only overtime that's being considered, at least just IGA, uh, majority proposal no is is uh, is is uh, with time between 14 hours and 16 pero beyond 16 hard stop na yon tigil lahat kahit anong i mean that's the proposal kasi nga that's the way to balance it kasi para workers welfare at the same time maganda magawa in pelikula at the same time there uh, you know there's a uh, magpatapos ng producer in enough shooting days na hindi naman siya malulugi. Eh. So we're trying to balance everything in with that, with the with that, you know, with that 16 hours. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Derek. You know, yung sinasabi, isa yung sinasabi ng 36 hours, uh, kasi I, I'm really bothered. Chair, yes. Pag 36 it's hours in stage at katrabaho, iba na ang mukha mo nun eh. Agad na. Iba na reaction mo sa pag-arte Niyo. Maganda nun, medyo maganda ka pa naman, pero kung ba kung 36 hours na walang tulong, tapos sa arte ka, crying scene or whatever, maapektuhan din yung... Apo, uh, gusto niyo pong magbigay po ako ng isang hemplo. Hindi ko na po sasabihin kung anong... Ano production? Itago sa pangalang... Uh, sa... Production eh. Yes. Personally lang po, nangyari po ito. Pagtatapos po ng isang serye namin... Uh, pagod na pagod na po kaming lahat. Umabot po kami noon ng next day na, parang second day 
magto two days straight kami noon. Ang tulog na po namin sa set. 9 a.m. po, hindi pa tapos yung first day namin. Nakunan po ang eksena. Hanggang sa natapos, nung nag edit na po ang direktor, tumawag sa akin, Isadora, natutulog ka sa eksena. Sabi niya. Nakunan po. Inaantok po ako, gumaganito po ako. Hind wala pong nakakita. Assistant director, cameraman, director. Nobody saw it. Makeup artist. Because everybody was sleepy. Everybody was no longer in the right frame of mind. Every everyone was tired. Ako, it looked funny. Pero sa totoo po, hindi nakakatawa. Kasi po, kalusugan nating lahat yon. Kaya po tayo nandito. Dahil, ang, what is at stake? It is really our health. And while we're young, we can take it. But the older we get, the less money sometimes we are given. Oh, uh, <laughs> May nagre-react po. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, it's true. Uh, I agree, I agree. Whether it is on the body. So, yun po, kaya po tayo nandito. Um, so, yun po, tama po yung sinabi nyo. Hindi lang po sa hindi maganda. I mean, that is the least of my concerns kapag walang tulog. Yun po ay, am I still functioning as a basic human being? Nakatulog po ako sa isang eksena ng hindi ko alam at hindi nakita ng ibang tao sa paligid ko. Yun lang po. Mas mahal pa yung hospitalization expenses mo kaysa sa bayad sa'yo. Yes po. Actually po, nung nagka-COVID din ako, uh, nung March 2020, I was admittedly working on three different sets, but it was from a lack of sleep. At kaya po, alam ko po na malaki ang uh, lack of sleep, malaki po ang tama sa immune system. And I think the uh, producers are well aware of it dahil marami ng casualties sa... Uh, sa film industry, marami na tayong mga director, mga ibang mga crew, artista na namatay dahil nga because of uh, overwork and overfatigue dito sa ating uh, industriya. Yes, Les. Uh, good morning. Anyway, uh, matagal na usap din ito. Uh, and I think doon na dito, at naglabas na sila ng department order. According to study, uh, yung, ang, yung efficiency ng performance or ng trabaho ng isang worker ay hanggang 12 oras lang. Pero, dahil nga ang batas natin, ang 8 hours constitute today, pero dahil naiiba yung industriya natin, Kaya pwede tayo magtrabaho hanggang 12 oras. Okay. Uh, nakalagay sa department order na uh, dahil nga may namatay. Uh, example, si Ben Veramas. At uh, dahil doon, uh, nag-set na talaga sila. Meron department ang dole na nag-aaral dahil sa kalasuga natin. Uh, at Kaya ang usapin na hanggang 16 hours maximum ang pwedeng itrabaho pero huwag naman lalampas doon dahil sabi nga ng Dole, akala ko ba health ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, uh, nag-set naman ang, uh, yung house version, yung, uh, yung house bill number 1270 na Ang working hours ay 8 to 12, but you can work uh, na may, uh, may overtime pay hanggang 16 hours. Yun ang maximum. Okay. Kaya, uh, base dun sa pag-aaral ng dole, at meron ang nakasulit yan, meron department order na uh, dun nakalagay yung uh, health and safety standards na dapat natin uh, sundan. Uh, ang position ko naman, uh, as I've said during the last session at nung sa mga private uh, consultation natin, na i-adapt na lang natin yung House Bill number 1270. 
At yung position ng mga producers na pwede silang mag hanggang 16 hours ay masusunod pa rin naman. Kasi yung 12 hours ay hindi kasama doon yung meal time. So lumalabas, magiging 14 hours doon. At isasama mo yung egress, ingress, egress, eh aabog yun ng 16 hours. So para sa akin, eh mag-stick na lang tayo doon sa uh, house version dahil win-win solution yun. Masusunod yung gusto ng producer at yung gusto ng mga workers. At uh, ang isa pa, yung sekreto kasi, uh, Mr. Chair, dapat yung kukunin ng producers, yung mga workers na marunong mag-pre-prob na hindi kayo nagsasayang ng oras sa set. Para pagdating, i-schedule ka kung kailang kakailangan para hindi na kayo magbayad ng overtime. So, uh, at ang working time applies to everybody. Hindi lang para sa artista. Yes. At, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, for your information, minsan yung ibang natin mga artista ay nakatali sa isang kontrata, sa isang network na pinilaman nila na kahit na umabot ng 18 hours ang trabaho, hindi sila dapat magreklamo kasi nakalagay sa kontrata nila. So, pag maging batas itong working hours natin, ay mapapalalang bisa yung kontrata nila because it will go against the law of the land. So, yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you for your insights. Uh, the chair will not adopt the House version of this bill. Maybe some provisions, but uh, not in toto. Okay? Because we will still look, uh, have a technical working group before I submit my committee report to the plenary. As you were raising your hand. Uh, hello, Mr. Chair and um, Senators. Um, sorry, hindi kami nakapag-intro kanina kasi parang marami dito sa inyo na hindi nakakapag-recognize sa group namin. Ang nakapag-mention lang actually sa amin is si Direct, Direct uh, Sigyon and si Direct Percy. Even kanina si Ms. Ano, uh, Carla. Para uh, si, ayun, si Ms. Tin, hindi kami na-mention. We are the production uh, managers and location managers of film, TV, uh, yung iba dito. Kasama namin ngayon, uh, solid group namin yung location managers and production managers. Often, hindi kami kasi recognize sa... Uh, sa trabaho yung kagagalala namin. So, kami ang stand namin. Okay na kami sa ano, actually, nung una 14 hours. Okay na kami sa 16 hours. As I've said, dun sa foreign, kasi kami yung pinakakawala dito. Mali po yung sinabi ng production managers at uh, ay pro, pro, production designers at art that ang nauna. Kami po ang nauna. Um... Sa kamalasan, kami yung pinakamas na kontratrabaho bago mabili ang pelikula. Kasi pag sinabi sa aming mag-location hunting na kami at mahirap ang mga locations, may mga times na isang buwan o dalawang linggo, pero maswerte kasi mapupunta kami direct na yung project, mas madali kang makakatapos eh. Pero para sa kaalaman ng doon ng dolly at ng producers, hindi po kami bayan ba. So, kung sinasabi, katulad ng isang production, nagtrabaho ko ng one month, puro out of town kami, yung single, hindi ako binayaran. Wala kaming laban eh. Wala kaming contract kasi freelancer kami. So, mali yung sinasabi na na sila yung nauuna kami. Kasabay namin ng pet, nauuna kami sa generator. Kasi pag sinasama po yung technical eh, sana, di ba parang hindi na naman Three hours advance, two hours advance, during pre-prod, may sasama na each department. Kasi ang home lang na po naman, para ba nang tanang pre-prod, iturong sa tent bus kung nagsasan magsaset up, iturong sa genet kung saan magpapart, wala ba silang common sense? Kaya lang diba kasi, sagot namin ang location eh. Sagot namin ang 
safety. Di ba pag naghahanap ka ng location, hindi lang basta makakontakt mo ng bahay eh. Iko-consider namin yung logistics, yung safety, yung parking, hahanap kami ng nurse hospital, ng police station, i-consider mo pa yung budget. So, hindi lang ganun ang dali. Hindi lang sinabi kayo, direkto, na ganun ba naman siya, hindi lang tayo siya lang kakatapin namin eh. Sampo, pag maarte direkto mo, sampo lang ang ano, Di ba? Wala ka ng oras. Even sa location hunting, we will start at 5 a.m. para mas madami kami i-cutting. Makakaumi kami 10, 11, hanggat kayang may kung na na location. So talagang, parang dito lang, feel namin nakawawas kami kasi kami talaga yung mag-violate sa time. So, kung hindi na mag-agli at gagawing batas yung Edgar si Yalo, okay na kami sa 16. Basta kung 16, pag umalis sa lahat, alis na din kami. Kasi kami tulog eh. Tapos yung, ano, yung budget namin, parang bata pa kami yung day, parang nagdagdag yung pag-aamsan. So kami, tsaka kami, chat, freelance kami. The rest ng kasama namin, taga-network. So, we're also protecting them. Ang ano lang ng freelancer, um, mas konting, uh, mas konting increase sa talent. Hindi pa rin na kami yung mga benefits katulad nila. So, yung kaninang na-mention sa pag-ibig and ano, uh, tama naman sila, sir, eh. Kumukuha kami ng self-employed. Hindi namin na yung kasi thankful din naman kami sa producers eh. If not for the producers, wala kami kabuhayan. So, pag di naman na kami, may kabuhayan kami. So, hindi na namin i-demand rin sa producers na dapat may kaming SSS. Kasi after seven days, iba na naman ang katrabaho namin. So, I understand that. Kasi choice namin maging freelance. Ang benefit na lang katanda nito, kaya meron silang benefits. Pero, nakastock sila sa ganong sweldo. Tapos, Mr. Chair, kasi wala naman ang hearing nung last time, na-mention din dito yung yung pagkain. Kami, hindi naman kami bayad sa vacation hunting. May tumatanggap na ang yes, 65 pesos, 85 pesos, hanggang 100. Saan kami kukain? Sa kalendaryo? Pati yun, pagka manayo ng vacation, pati yung kalendaryo na ganun lang ang halaga, kailangan mo hanap. Tapos ah, nagpapapan ng resibo. Pero pagkasama namin ng mga boss, ang director, they can spend until up to 8,000 per the news. While us, malaging magbabahe, by land, by boat, by plane man yan, wala, ganun pa rin. Ba naman pala yung numarating namin, pagkain namin, swerte ka na sa 150. Yan lang, ako nag-a-agree ako sa lahat eh, na 14 hours, 16 hours max. Kasi let's face it, nagkakaroon naman ng internal na usapan eh. Dahil makikisama ka, pag sinabing alam na rin naman yung, yung side ng producer na yung ginagastos nila, di ba? O pwede ba ang turno nila ng once in? Pero kasi kami talaga yung sa time. Dahil nga, two hours before, para lang i-set up lahat ng parking ng tent. Kasabay namin dumalating yung Janet. Minsan nauuna pa kami. Yun lang po, sabi na, mabigyan din kami ng recognition na bilang mga LNPM na malaki na ang hirap namin sa pagdala ng pelikula at soap opera. Salamat po. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Nalisa. I understand your uh, predicament. And I think the the representatives of uh, the Producers Guild are uh, listening intently. And uh, one thing I am concerned of is the food, yung binanggit mong pagkain. Siguro naman sana yung, kung ano yung kain ng artista sa set, sana yun din ang pagkain ng mga malilut na tao na nagtatrabaho sa, sa set. Kasi yung when I crafted this kasambahay lo, kung ano yung kinakain namin, ano, hindi na kinakain nung aming makasambay. Sana ganoon din dito sa industriya natin. Kasi hindi mga mga aso yan. Tao rin yan. Hindi mga hayop yan. Although mas mababa pang aswel dun nila, dapat nga 
mas pakainin natin, mas masarap dahil ma mas uh, matagal pa sila katrabaho kaysa sa mga artista. Yung artista, paraming pera yan. May pwede na sila, pwede sila bumili sa mga restaurant. Pero yung mga, yung mga, yung mga, yung mga nasa crew, yung mga nasa yung mga production design, etc., etc. Sana kung ano yung kinakain ng mga bida, ng mga artista, hindi na pakain natin sa kanila. Yes, you are raising that. Ayun po, Mr. Chair, sorry po, hindi po po namin napakilala yung grupo namin kanina. Hindi po kami na nakapag-opening remarks. Pero sasabihin po sana namin kanina, lahat ng uh, scope of work namin sa paggawa ng pelikula man or television, uh, bilang nabanggit na rin po ni Neri yung iba, uh, sa amin din po ang responsibilidad ng um, pagkuha ng mga permits para sa kaalaman po at batiran ng lahat ng nandito sa amin po yung pagkuha ng permits sa barangay, sa homeowners at sa sa mga city hall sa amin din po yung iba't ibang requirements ng production gaya po ng paghahanap ng mga kotse sa sakyan na ginagamit ng mga artista ng kanilang mga alagang hayop aso, pusa, kalabaw, baka, ahas sa amin din po yung nakatoka sa amin din po nakatoka ang mga um, uh, sinisise na mga maiingay during the set pang mga maiingay na naririnig sa amin po yan sa amin din po bumabagsak ang kadalasang galit ng mga kapitbahay dahil during their celebration pinapatigil po namin sila sa kanilang pagbibidjoke sa amin din po ang nagsat ng reklamo ng mga kapitbahay na nag nagre-reklamo dahil po maiingay during takes at yung mga naglilipot po ng gamit o nagsaset up po ng gamit. Wala ba tano dyan? Di ba meron uh, tano doon nag-traffic-traffic uh, dyan? Meron po. Uh, kaya lang po kasi uh, may permit naman po kami sa barangay. Kaya lang po kami po talagang mga tano di. Yes po, yes po. Kaya lalay po namin sila pero kasi pag, pag sila po yung tinawag kami pa rin po yung maharap. So nagpapaliwanag po kami ng dispensa na pasensya na po kayo ganito ganyan. So, sa amin din po yun. Chair, yung worst kasi doon, ano, eh, uh, namumura din kami ng director. Kasi even yung ingay ng aso, ano, ah, sorry, ah, sorry, Direk Percy, kasi nakatrabaho din si Direk Percy, eh. Uh, yung, hindi, 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 hindi ka, I'm not referring to you, Direk. Hindi, syempre, I respect din the directors na nakatrabaho ko rin. Marami naman na akong naikota na networks. Pero kasi, di ba, Direk, lahat naman kasi, pagka sa location talaga, yung mga naglalasingan dyan, nagbibigyo kay aso yung tumatahol, mga naglalarong bata, lahat yun, ano eh, a -a ano namin, uh, saklaw ng ano namin. So, kaya kami nandito, thankful kami na na-invite kami kasi it's about time na marinig kami kasi hindi alam ng lahat, kala nila, laki ng sweldo namin, location manager, production manager, eh pag sinawa ka tayo mo yung location, baka wala pa kami po nandaan sa isang araw. Thank you, Paul Chair. Thank you, Neri. All right. Okay, last Saturday we Meron nag-mention yung mga talents. Meron bang representative ng agency dito sa talents? Wala. Wala po. Wala po. Hindi. Walang representative. Kasi meron silang nire-reklamo yung consultation last Saturday kasi yung tinatanggap ng talent from 600 to 900 lang because of subcontracting wala bang ano, representative ng mga, mga talents dito? wala inimbita ba? Ano? komsek hindi niya inimbita? Hindi na umbitan? Okay.
Okay, do we get a consensus among all the stakeholders concerned that the workers should be provided by the employers or the producers with insurance that will cover the costs of work-related injury, disability, accident, or death? Is it correct that the proposed bills bill will not entail additional costs to employers or producers as far as this benefit is concerned because it is currently being provided to the workers? Your comments, please. Any comment? Producer. Chair, yes, we are amenable to that. We put it in our position paper that we are willing to, we are already actually, some of us are already providing, but uh, yes, work-related kind insurance. of insurance. Uh, work-related uh, insurance, uh, Mr. Chairman, that covers accidents, uh, death, disability. This is per project. This is per project. Per project, Mr. Chairman. All right. Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair? Uh, Mr. Chair? Mr. Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair? Mr. Uh, meron ng pa-practice nun, pero hindi lahat. So sana, dito sa Edgacy Bill, lahat ng nasa set, covered ng insurance. At uh, dahil nga Edgacy na aksidente si Edgacy sa set, so uh, dapat kasama na rin na merong health team na nasa set all uh, time at merong ambulance na nakisanda. That is what we discussed during the uh, last consultation and we will incorporate this in this uh, first bill. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, insurance, yung medic, etc., etc. In safety officer. Yes. In safety officer, meron naman yata, no? Every time na mag-shooting, mag-taping, meron ng... Yes, Mr. Chairman. Meron na naka-assign doon? Yes, we already followed it already. All right. the dollar guidelines now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have sorry, sorry. Mr. Chair, may, uh, may, may request yung department ng location managers that we also get insurance before we do location hunting. Kasi eh, anything can happen eh. Dahil the whole day, ano eh. Huwag lang sana pag nag-start na yung project. Kasi kawawa naman kami pag kami yung na-accidente. Uh, yeah. Mr. Chair, yes, it's uh, when we say per project, it's from the start of the project, not from the start of the taping of In, the shoot, including yung sa, no, sa um, yes, sa mga because um, honestly, it's, it is our problem because they go around. So if he, there's even an accident, it becomes our, our our responsibility as well. So we want the insurance coverage to start from the moment the project is greenlit, which means that from the moment that the location manager starts looking for the locations. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bo. Thank you, Bo. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chair. Please, we achieve something. May representative from GMA 7 or ABS? GMA 7? Yeah, yes, Mr. Chair. Um, attorney 07. Ano lang, ha? Uh, yung nangyari kay Eddie Garcia, was it a minor accident or a major accident? As as far of course um sa history po ng safety ng company namin. Well, just answer me. Was it a minor or major accident? Of course it's a major accident. Major accident yeah. si Eddie Garcia yon. Uh, ma tama. Yeah, 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 Mr. Chair. Ang nangyari kay dito Eddie na ano yun? Natisod lang eh. Dahil because maraming mga kable. But that's considered as a minor accident. Kasi pag sa crew lang nangyari yon minor lang yun. Dahil si Andy Garcia na natisod, eventually namatay, naging major accident. Tama? Uh, Mr. Chair, um, with all due respect, um, we, we uh, uh, hindi po, uh, that, that is not how we operate, Mr. Chair. Um, in fact, Mr. Chair, ano po, eh, um, uh, it is unfortunate that in the long history of GMA, si uh, Si uh, si Manoy lang po ang talagang kwan eh ang um, uh, 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 death na nangyari sa set po ng GMA. So uh, we're really um uh, pero 
we 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 have to say for the record Mr. Chair that um kung uh, kahit sino po na miyembro ng crew yon of course we will attend to him we will bring him to the hospital like, the reason why I I said that it was a minor accident kasi siguro kasalanan din ng mga ibang kuya na bakit kasi nakalawit ito mga kable dun sa daanan ng ng eksena no Kasi for me, that was a really minor accident that turned into a major accident because the one involved yep. is Eddie Garcia. Kasi kung ordinary yung tao lang, hindi si Eddie Garcia lang yan, hindi si Eddie Garcia yan, hindi niya makapansin eh, hindi, hindi may headline yan eh. Correct? Am I correct? Di ba? So siguro... Siguro, all, hindi lang man sa GMA7, siguro sa lahat ng ating mga producers, siguro pag-ingatan din yung mga dadaanan ng eksena ng mga artista, kahit yung mga, kahit yung mga crew. Alright, uh, are there any other uh, inputs that you want to share uh, before this committee, before... Uh, yes, Percy? Mr. Chairman, uh, we just want to note that we, we do recognize... Our, all the input of all the the guilds um and we still stand by our position that uh we hope that there will be a technical working group where we can iron out all the details uh, because as uh, the other producers have pointed out we haven't even considered smaller uh smaller i guess complications to our workflow like for instance the truck band that prevents us from bringing production equipment and production design props to the set so that's actually a major consideration when we start the once compute the time, no, because the trucks can only travel at a certain time. So that means that the 16 hours, if we count it from the first person, then it's it's already dictated by when the trucks arrive. Uh, and then there's also rain, which, as you know, is, is a more unpredictable uh, thing. So I think, uh, Mr. Chairman, to I guess to, to appease everybody, we are more very open to to uh, hearing out all of the all of the input and we do recognize that ultimately the goal is for the health and safety of everybody yes thank you uh direct percy we after this hearing we i will uh, instruct the, the committee to listen to a technical working group before i submit my committee report you mentioned that the garcia bill is a class legislation is it uh, we Actually, Mr. Chair, uh, our concern, of course, um, 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 for the record, Your Honor, we, we, we support initiatives to protect workers. We, and um, just for the information of all, um, two days ago, we celebrated the 97th anniversary of the 8-hour working day. Alam po na lahat ng estudyante ng labor law dito that ang, ang first attempt to have um, yung pong working hours started 97 years ago when a man called Henry Ford in institute niya sa, uh, sa pabrika niya na 8 hours lang po ang work and and after that yung legislation came meaning na una po ang practice so ang our, our concern of course uh, Mr. Chair with, with some provisions of the of the legislations uh, proposed here is that um gusto po namin yung kwan we 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 do support the good intentions of legislation na uh, pagbutihin po yung kalagayan ng workers in the entertainment and the media industry. Pero po, ang concern namin sana po ay hindi matibag yung batas dahil it could be stru struck down later as class legislation um, applicable only to um, a particular sector na na and, and alam po naman natin na the constitution, ang ating saligang batas po, will... Um, um baka po kasi makita natin na makita later on ma-challenge sa korte yung certain provisions of law natin lalo na kung hindi siya malinaw ano po siya applicable only siya sa isa, sa ilang sector uh, kaya nga po we're willing to help uh, hand in hand with the with both committees to para pag igiin po na yung batas na ipapasa natin ay mainam at hindi po ma-challenge sa korte okay Bale, any representative from the Department of Labor Answer. Is this a class legislation or not? May mga concern din, uh, Mr. Chair, yung Department of Labor and Employment sa identification po ng coverage of the law. Ang proposal po sana namin ay 
i-expand it further para po ma-cover yung other players within the creative uh, industry and creative and entertainment industry para po uh, masako po lahat ng stakeholders po within the industry. In its present language, Mr. Chair, we are seeing po na may color ng um, it goes against yung uh, equal protection clause of the Constitution, but it's not ano naman po, hindi naman po yun na uh, sasabihin namin na uh, nag-violate but it can be cured po by expanding po the coverage of the proposed uh, legislation. Can you give can you give, uh, give a position paper with regard to the uh, class legislation issue? We will we will submit Mr. Chair. How many how many days? Uh, okay. next week Mr. Chair we can already next submit. Week. All right. Uh, for the information of everybody here present, today is our last day before we go into recess. Okay, this is on its last day before we go into recess. So one month coming wala dito sa Senado, but still, I will forward this uh, issue, this uh, proposed bill, a technical working group. So from October, kailangan pagtrabalhin uh, parin tong. So we can come up with a uh, win-win situation for uh, all stakeholders concerned. Because I do not want to fail here. Once I fail here, or fail here, okay. And uh, I suggest that all you guys, all the stakeholder, stakeholders concerned, get their acts together, unite. Each, with each other. Sana magkapareho tayo ng uh, layunin para tulungan natin itong ating industriya. But sa akin, sa akin palagay, kung hindi pa namatay si Tito Eddie, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng ganitong klaseng bill. Hindi natin mapapag-usapan yung uh, yung kapaganan o welfare ng uh, workers dito sa ating uh, industriya. Because alam mo, mahalaga sa amin, sa, lalo na lalo sa amin ni Senator Robin, Senator Lito, Senator Bong, itong industry na to because this is the industry where we started. Hindi kami magiging senador siguro kung hindi dahil sa industry na to. Kaya masyadong mahalaga at malapit sa puso namin itong industry na to. Sabi ko nga dito sa akin makasamahan, sila Robin, si Lito, tsaka si, si Bong, Senator Bong, sabi ko, apat na, ta, apat na kami artistry, apat na tayo artistry to, ay kailangan gumawa tayo ng paraan para ma-uplift yung uh, uh, well, uh, uh, welfare and rights ng mga movie workers dito sa ating uh, industriya. So, there any other inputs that you want to... Yeah. Yes. Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair? Yeah. Uh, sino ba? Uh, direct. Yeah. yeah. Um, ang concern din namin lang uh, sa DGPI kasi some of our filmmakers are documentary filmmakers, no? And this also goes into the issues that have been raised about coverage of the law. Yung mo bang ano, uh, I, I, we're just concerned na yung, I mean, our, our position is that sana yung, yung safety, medical safety requirement, etc., uh, not be up, uh, made necessary for documentary shoots or back shoots that go on to covering special events that uh, where, sit, that where the situation is not totally within the filmmaker's control, such as covering a black Nazarene procession, the Limbawa, or, or some some natural phenomenon like, you know, a or something. Mga ganong yung pumuputok. So, what we are requesting is to rethink that, that, that requirement as it applies to documentary documentary shoots or backpack shoots na mga nagsushoot ng b-rolls just so it is not because not, because not everything uh, in the in the content that is being covered is within the control of the it, it is basically a coverage it's not making an event it's covering something that is beyond the filmmaker's control that's one no? the other thing then uh, Mr. Sher is we are uh, we would suggest lang we would we recommend uh, removing student films from uh, from the coverage of this law uh, and leave the, the universities and colleges and schools that do uh, that do uh, that you know that teach film or, or television or whatever to come up with their own policies. Because uh, the budgets definitely 
necessarily of these student filmmakers are much, much, much lower than commercial filmmaking, which is what is the, you know, you know, at saka commercial television to commercial media making, that is basically what we're discussing here. So young student filmmakers Anna, are, are taken out of the coverage of this law. So those two things lang. Okay, thank you. Before that, nakalimutan na nakalimutan ko i-discuss sa inyo yung tungkol sa mga senior citizens na artista. Are they still covered with this 16 hour working uh, working hours? Kasi meron tayong batas doon. Am I correct? Na ilan hours yung senior citizen na pwedeng magtrabaho? Uh, Mr. Chair, it's eight hours for senior citizens and eight hours for children. We're so talking for hours. So eight hours maximum sa senior citizens. Senior citizens. Eh, paano siya? So close, pagka ano? Hindi <laughs> ka. Hindi ka. Thank you. Eight Judge. hours siya. Hindi. Mr. Chair. I'm also a member of the, ano, ano, senior na rin ako. Kunwari, ako, may, may pinikula ako. Ano, may, or... ano susundin ko yung eight hours or sixteen hours? Uh, Actually, that is a problem for us also because oh. it's not the actors, also the directors too. Opa, no. Kena, ano susundin natin yung eight hours under the law, sixteen hours na pinropos, pinropos natin. Oh, Mr. Chair. Mr. Mr. Chair, kami ang uh, we discuss this ang ano uh, sa amin, uh, you know, twelve hours for senior citizens, pero. Uh, if the senior citizen writes a waiver, then he can go. Uh, then he then he he should be allowed to work between twelve and sixteen hours maximum. The children, hours. The children. I know. Yeah. Let's just stick to the dole. The children. Merong dole four hours yata. The children. Ano ba ano na dole? There is an existing law, Mr. Chair, on working hours of children. For those under 15, hours for maximum of 20. For 15 to 18, maximum of 40, but 8 hours per day. All right. Yes. Uh, yun lang yun. Uh, uh, yung mga senior citizen, pwede sila magtrabaho more than 8 hours, basta magsasign sila ng waiver. Every time na nasa set, magsasign ng waiver? Ganon? Uh, kasi if we, kunwari, nasa batas na six, maximum of 16 hours, ang trabaho, director, artista, mga senior citizen, ano nga susundin natin? Mr. Chairman, this bill ay yung nasa batas na 8 hours. Okay, Mr. Chairman, kailangan kasi, uh, nakalagay dun sa house version, magkikreate ng tripartite na mag-discuss doon sa mga detalye. So, I I also expect the Senate version dapat magkaroon din ng uh, kailangan mag-create ng tripartite council to discuss the details of all the yung uh, batas na na ipasa. Or Is ipasa. it possible for us to discuss it right now? Why are we going to put Put under the law the tripartite council. Doon pa lang, mag, ano, doon pa lang di-discuss na, ano, anong mangyayari sa mga senior citizen kung kung ilang oras sila magtatrabaho. I don't get that logic. Yeah. May help me? Yes, okay. Uh, from my experience, from the past, kasi talaga matagal na ako, ang mga ibang senior citizen talaga nagsaset po sila ng time limit nila regardless of how long. Uh, by 12 midnight, I'll go home, finish or not finish. Meron po silang ganon. But, nung po sa tinatanong nila na per senior citizen, in one of the, I think, the discussion that I attended, ang ibig sabihin po ng 8 hours nila, correct me if I'm wrong, the 8 hours of work nila is encompassed to the uh, 12 hours regulation. Meaning, uh, uh, 8 hours po, yung know, working unit talaga nila. Hindi po, but you, you don't consider them under the 16 hours or the 13 hours. Kung sa 12 hours of work of uh, acting people, uh, 8 lang sila. So, dapat po yun uh, nakapaloob dun sa number of hours na yan. People? Yes, uh, Mr. Lang, we have all uh, talked about it. 
web a very peculiar industry kasi ibang klase yung itatrabaho natin and I guess it will do respect sa Dali. Yung data hours is referred to yung mga tumapasok sa opisina on a daily basis. Kasi tayo hindi nga kami pumapasok sa opisina but the demands of a shirt at a movie or a serie nagbabago nag-iiba yung conditions working conditions nag-iiba yung mga exam na kukunan kung minsan merong mga heavy scenes sa kinukunan heavy physically kung minsan heavy emotionally so kanya nga yung sinasabing nagbabat yung nagbabat yung nagbabat yung sa 8 hours na as compared to regular worker nagkikinumper mo yung taga-pelikula because sabi nga I think everybody yun na taga-pelikula will say talaga na nakaiba yung industry natin and you cannot compare it to any other regular um, work. Yes, uh, as I've said before, ours is a unique industry and sometimes we cannot uh, just uh, follow the provisions under the Labor Code of the Philippines. That's why I am uh, suggesting or requesting the our representative from the Dole to submit a uh, position paper with regard to the uh, workers, the plight of the workers of uh, the movie industry. Yes, Miss Villanueva. Yes, um, so with regard um, on the topic of um, yung child actors, uh, syempre na meron po yung sabola na dapat maximum number of hours, four hours lang po yung magtatrabaho ang mga bata. Pero uh, sa teatro, sinusunod po namin yun ng four hours lang po yung magtatrabaho ng mga bata. Pero I think it's a widely known fact na kapag sa kula television um may tendency po talaga na more than 4 hours ang pagtatrabaho ng mga bata and syempre yung mga bata hindi naman po sila makakareklamo kasi hindi naman po nila alam na after that 4 hours lang pala ako magtatrabaho and um syempre nasa mga magulang na din po yan na syempre sila yung kinakausap po ng na nakatataas na ah ma'am ni pwede pa po ba tayo mag-expand ng ano kasi meron pa po so sure po si mami gusto niyang bigyan ng pagkakata yung anak niya na ah baka ito na yung pagkakataon niya na magtuloy-tuloy maging artista kaya papayag at papayag lang din po talaga si si mami at uh, tapos um, sure po po titignan natin sure po ipaprioritize din po talaga yung pagkukuha sa mga bata na papayag yan hindi ba naman na may dan for hours yung trabaho, hindi natin kailangan problemahin. So, yun din po siguro yung kailangan nating tingnan as hindi po talaga nasusunod yung four hours ng dole sa industriyang ito. Ayun lang po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yun lang sa seniors ulit. Uh, um, we're just concerned kasi na Siyempre, ang, pref, ang talagang recommendation namin is to, kasi ano naman ito, meron naman required na safety medical people on the set. Merong maximum of 16 hours and then seniors are adults. They're speaking for themselves. They're not children. I mean, say they are, uh, so so if they feel that they have the, the, they are fit enough to work beyond, let's say, 12 hours and then they sign a waiver, uh, our suggestion is to honor that uh, waiver and let them work up to a maximum of that they choose to work, uh, which is a maximum of 16 hours hard stop. At saka ano naman yan, so kasama na rin, uh, yun, ang, yun ang recommendation namin talaga because otherwise it would also be, it could also be discriminatory to the seniors who are willing to work and who feel that they are fit enough to work up to 16 hours if necessary, maximum 16 so we do waiver. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, you are. I'm Kyle Masada from the School of the Philippines. Oh, the uh, the yeah. <laughs> and, in line with that thinking, because I'm not prejudiced from people who are not prepared for the waiver, so the bill might not be effective in that case so hindi na po yung effectivity kung lahat ng tao katapirahin magpapulat din po talaga yung mga senior citizens we're talking only about the senior citizens senior citizens nga po natin hindi ba na 
Maganda po yung jubis nga po na ikaw at uh, direct may said. Okay. 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 Prejudice. In fact, uh, what I mentioned was it would be discriminatory to the seniors who are willing to work up to 16 hours if they cannot even sign a waiver. So our suggestion is to allow seniors to work up to 16 hours or any number of hours they want, but 16 ang maximum, so long as they sign a waiver. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ganun din yung uh, position ni Res, no? Uh, pero may lang waiver yung mga senior citizen ano ito? every time na mag-shooting or mag-taping kailangan pumirma ang mga senior citizen if they allow themselves to work for 18 hours is, that, is my understanding correct? Kung, kung yun ang nasa or, plans, we have to isang project na lang isang perma isang project uh, I think uh, attorney judge uh, attorney judge uh, Mr. Chair um, I just want to correct um, the the use the misconception of the use waiver. I think it should be part and inherent an inherent part of the contract because when you say it's a waiver, you can only waive something that has already happened. You cannot waive future rights. So in that kind of a scenario, the the person who signed a waiver who signed who supposedly gave up future rights can still actually run after the producers. So it must be part and parcel of the contract itself, not a waiver. Maybe you can stipulate that in the contract. Am I correct? Yes, po. Yes, po. Especially uh, some more senior citizens. Yes, po. All right. Uh, that would be a better idea, attorney. Thank you for your inputs. Oh, Mrs. I'm so good at the same time prejudice because it will bear fruit. Kapag hindi po mipirma ng waiver yung isang senior na actor, baka hindi siya kunin may fear of cancellation. So yun lang po yung discriminatory act, which is the prejudice nga to those people who are good friends working more than eight hours. Thank you, Paul. Okay, any other? Before I uh, adjourn this uh, hearing? So still Your Honor. Have, we still have to attend to another hearing. Yes. Please identify. Your Honor, good morning. Attorney Emir Mendoza from the UP Law Workers and Employees Program. Yeah. UP Law. UP Law Center, sir. Yeah. Your Honor. Uh, with the discussions on the hours of work, uh, may we just uh, add that, uh, as we stated in our proposition paper, uh, that overtime pay be granted for work after the hour. So whatever after the eight hours, after the eight hours. So if after the eight hours work, after the eight working hours. Yes, Your Honor. So by um R nine or R ten, uh, whatever the extension would be, fourteen sixteen. Yeah, uh, submission is. As I mentioned earlier, the movie industry is a unique industry. Wala kami ng opisina dito. Wala kami ng pinagrereportam dito. Wala kami ng amor dito. That's why I don't think uh, uh, that will sit well with uh, the producers. May may I get your comments uh, with regard to the statement of attorney? No, um, you're you're right, uh, Mr. Chair. And with all due respect, we are also talking about uh, rates that are much higher than minimum wage. So it's it's already built in in a way that we know that the hours are longer. Uh, that's why our industry is, is par particular in that sense. I hope we understand, no? Kasi, kami nung nasa pelikula, naintindi namin, iba yung industriya namin, wala kaming, ano, wala kaming amo dito, wala kaming pinag-reportan, wala kaming opisina dito. Uh, I'm talking about the actors, ha? Huh? And the actors as well. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for uh, uh, putting that out. No, how long must overtime some of producers? Naman tanong ko, for sixteen hours. Or after, nobody begin to make overtime. Alam ba ba pa kayo sa tanyo? Ito mga artista, mga mga workers. Sixteen hours. Kasi usually internal agreement. Hindi natapos yung shooting. Kaila mo uh, ang extend na oras. It's so, not. It's, it's not ideal for us, Mr. Chair. Because uh, it's not ideal for us, 
Because it is it, not ideal for you. That there would be an over... Because uh, actually, what Mr. Morphe was suggesting that it's a hard stop at 16. Yes. It's an easier... It's an easier uh, arrangement to manage for us admin-wise. Because at least it's simple. You count everybody. Because the moment there is overtime for one individual, it opens up a discussion for all the individuals. Yes. Like, for instance, if you get an actor to work longer, then everybody else obviously is working longer. Um, and that becomes a complication. So, But we, we do acknowledge, again, that every project is different. So if it's on a case-per-case -case basis, it's an option, then it's okay. But uh, we agree that the spirit of the law would be to stop at 16 for everybody's health. Yeah, it's simply the middle of my Yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Go over time. Tayo, katulad ng ang minention ko rin na minsan hindi mayroong mga eksena ang hindi natatapos na kailangan din tapusin. Dahil kung meron kayong, meron kayong play date or whatever sa TV or sa movies, kailangan nyo tapusin. Are you willing to give over time to these workers? Below the line. Yeah. Yung discussion, Mr. Chair, about below the line, it's, uh, it's I think it's, very fair because uh, of the rates being lower. Willing uh, Yeah. Yes. Yes, Mr. Chair. One day. One day. What kind of overtime? I I think. Uh, oh, it depends on the per hour rate, Mr. Chair. Per hour. Yeah. So you have to compute the I guess the the hourly rate. The proper rate, yeah. Yes, Mr. Chair. Because if you go overtime by an hour or two hours, then we pay for the one hour or two hours. Where are you from? Mr. Chair. Yes. Permission to be recognized, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, the, I, I think that the question that needs to be addressed first is this: the 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 and that we we've been harping that in our position papers that we need to harmonize certain provisions of the proposed legislation and 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 uh, the labor code, because for example, the grant of of overtime pay and premium night differential pay is actually a species of benefit that is peculiar to our labor code. Now, the question that presents itself for for us, the producer side, is this. Um, certain positions for the industry, are they even employees or are they independent contractors? For example, um, let me just cite one particular case. Nandito po yung mataga ABS-CBN. Ang landmark case po dyan, yung case ni, ni Sonsa. Uh, sinabi po ng... ng Yes, po, si Jason sa. Yeah, Jose Son sa po, Jason sa po, para mas kilala natin. Doon po sa kasong 'yon, nag-file po ng illegal dismissal si Mr. Jason sa. Ang theory niya ay regular employee siya ng ABS-CBN, notwithstanding the fact na noong 1994 ang sweldo niya po is close to 380,000 per ano per month. Malaking pera yun ngayon, malaking, mas malaking pera nung panahon na yun. Ang sabi po ng Supreme Court doon sa kasong yun, um, yung relationship, for example, ni Mr. Sonsa and uh, uh, ABS-CBN, alam naman po natin na sa kasong yun, uh, si Mr. Sonsa was a host of a TV program. Ang sabi po doon sa kasong yun, hindi po siya regular employee. Um, independent contractor po siya in the same way probably po na pag si uh, pag si uh, Senator Estrada o si Senator Padilla ay kinuha kong artista sa aming pelikula yung relationship po natin ay hindi regular employment and ang um, ang um, the principle here is yung freedom to contract malaya tayong nakakapag uh, uh, usap tungkol sa inyong rates um, of course, there's a stature ninyo, hindi na, um, yung relationship po ninyo with any producer or any TV network is more or less equal. Kaya, kaya nga rin po, um, that is the reason why um, doon po sa mga proposed legislation, uh, titignan din po natin yung, kwan, yung how we, we need to harmonize certain provisions. Uh, kung kayo po ay actor o director, yung pong mga, uh, or probably head writer, Yung pong rates niyo is dictated by the contract that you entered into. Pero kaya nga po, ang hirap, for example, gawan ng tiering na magbibigyan pa ng uh, overtime pay ang isang actor na ang rate niya is 350000 per taping day. So magkukompute pa po tayo dyan, magmamat pa tayo. Um, or bibigyan pa po natin siya ng night differential because uh, from our stand uh, ng mga producers and, and, and TV network, yung pong um, rate that has been determined by contract is the, the rate for that particular taping day. 
or for that particular shooting day, kung ganun po yung rate. O minsan nga po sa pelikula, project rate, kabuoan ng project, ito yung ibabayad. Yun lang po, um, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Attorney. Meron pa? Ah. Meron, kakota ka na, mamaya ka na. <laughs> si. Hello, sir. Uh, good morning. I'm Mark Mariana from Associated Labor and Trade the Philippines. Uh, actually, gusto uh, ko uh, sana na mag-react from yung mga napagkasundoan yung last uh, last year, like in the 14 hours. Uh, actually, yung pinaka-fundamental dito sa nakikita namin is yung di, di ba nga, eh, di ka si Yubi lang tinatawag nito, no? So, if you want to address yung pinaka-issue deeper na you uh, the hazards that led to his death. I uh, sticking to the same and saying 16 hours would cut it. I mean, I remember when I was working in the industry, 16 hours is the minimum time that uh, I would work in. After 12 hours, I'm going to be able to do documentaries. You may be able to do 16 hours is the minimum. Actually, I'm going to be able to do 24. But I'm going to be able to it's still not credible. So you have to address the fundamental issues. Na, kaya nga kailangan pag-usapan mo yung aside from your occupation you health issues, kailangan pag-usapan mo yung security of time issues. Like I said, it leads to that, di ba? Kasi kaya nga minimum ka dito sa minsan yung ABC test of uh, control test para sa employment based on sa California sa uh, legislation mo na doon. Ah, uh, yung isa na yung sinasuggest na yung yung napagkasong buhay yung 14 hours last time is uh, pwede very na plan na may scale na ano na kung nara every two years binabawasan 14 hours tapos 12 hours para yung workflow na lahat na i-address na na kung tiyan pinasari lahat para mapunta sa 12 dahil kasi nga ang issue dito is maging maram eh na kung bala yung tagsang with the rest of the, uh, the legislation as it is yung 12 hours na yun Maximum, maximum, actually, with some of the things in the practices, you know, the actual standard should be open. So, as it is, maybe, so if we you want to address your, 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 and expect new results. Ano nang nangyari dyan? I'm glad na wala nang decision to after a level of 52. I'm confused na ako. Pag nagkaroon sa pagkakaroon nila na ako. Hindi ko sabi pang dami tayo. Sinigil tayo dyan. Masaan nila ako. Okay, hindi na ako. Okay, hindi na ako. Okay, hindi na ako. Okay. Why not bring ang tagbo sa, ano, sa better working with us there. Ang saan pinag-usapan nila ng mga nang gupas yung yung pinag-usapan nila ngayon you creative effort takes time. And you uh, can probably do the top power, so that must be by the power. This guy will be residents accounted for. But you are a very good Ito nga meron yung ano, but yung pinag-address nyo, yung 8 hours, yung sabi ko na tayo ng class balance, 8 hours rest, 8 hours work, and 8 hours to do as you do, family time, education time. Kaya may meron yung class balance yung tinitawa mo, because it's a universal need. Kasama nga sa sinayang minimum kahit na sabi, patang state for protection zone. Ako nga rin, sinag-suggest na rin, it's an industry-wide, simple like yung good training society doesn't need to do 20 workers. Meron silang fund na kung saan i-co-contribute part ng gobyerno. Yung guys, diba, yung SSS, right now, employee effect, 50% is yours, yung employee, 50% is the employer. So yung 50% employer side, pwede ngayon, kung nga rin, 20% sa gobyerno, 20% galing sa industry, bawat project na nag-burn. Something like that, we would do it sa structural industry sa India. Structural industry kasi similar to other industries na marami yung finality. So, marami yung finality na nabas. Nagin siya, well, good for a while. That's what we're talking about. So, social protection, so, may ano nga, so, sustainable developments na inaabot tayo. Ibu ni po natin. So, some adults na yun naman ito magdamit. This is fundamental. We're glad na it's been addressed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mark Villena. 
Okay, uh, we'll have to do this uh, no, uh, faster. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, good morning, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Um, Benjamin Alvera Pa from the... No. Sorry. Benjamin Alvera Pa from the Centro ng Mga Nagkakaisa at Progresibong Manggagawa. Habang na Centro ng Nagkakaisa? Mga Nagkakaisa at Progresibong ma Manggagawa. Sorry, haba no pangalan. So we represent workers in the public and private sector, including po dito sa broadcast through uh, the NABU, the National Alliance of Broadcast Unions. So affiliate po namin sila. At uh, gusto ko, kulang din po, balikan yung ina-emphasize po kanina, no? Kanina pa, na isang malaking problema sa pag-establish nga ng regulation dito sa industriya po ito ay pecul peculiar siya. At kita po natin na iba't ibang pangangailangan, iba't ibang mga konteksto. At uh, gusto uh, lang namin idagdag ngayon ay konteksto naman at punto de vista po ng mga technical workers o yung mga manggagawa po sa likod ng kamera na may sariling mga uh, kondisyon sa trabaho na iba sa naranas at pangailangan ng artista, etc. Halimbawa, sa work uh, sa hours work, para po sa iba dito, lumalabas na consensus ay 16 hours maximum. Actually, para po sa mga membro namin, based sa mga konsultasyon across sa mga unions namin sa TV5, GMA, uh, ABCBN, lumalabas na para po sa amin, uh, 12 hours sa maximum. Uh, isa gara na yun sa amin. So, Isa po yung difficulty sa so how do we harmonize given na iba-iba ang pangailangan ng mga manggagawa sa isang industriya. So open po po kami sa patuloy na pakipag-usap at dialogue for that. At kaya rin po na-mention yung usapin ng secretive tenure. Eh. Kasi po na-mention nga kanina na, na isang mahalagang pag-usapan at laruin ay ano yung difference between our regular employees and independent contractors. Kasi po sa karanas karanasan po namin na abuso po yung kategory na independent contractor. Yung mga trabaho Baho po ng mga technical workers, mga camera crew na essential para po sa, sa production, essential para sa gawa, sa trabaho, ay for some reason na nakaklasify as independent contractor. So para po sa amin, isa yun mahalagang kugunan uh, ng pansin, kailangan po natin ma-address yung, yung endemic misclassification of employees. So, isa lang po yun. So, uh, secretive tenure, misclassification of employees na nag undermine po sa right to self-organization ng mga manggagawa. So, ilan lang po to at uh, siguro po may mga salient points din na po pwedeng mapag-usapan po further with actors groups. In particular po, isa din pong gusto rin namin matugunan ay yung kultura sa workplace. Uh, in particular, yung may mga issues po tayo sa workplace abuse, harassment, verbal, physical, emotional, sexual, if, if may mga cases po na yun, open po kami na pag-usapan yun dahil hindi po rin yun tinatanggap ng mga manggagawa. At isa din po na gusto namin mapag-usapan at uh, ay yung problema po nung non-compete clause na kahit po mga technical workers ay na nakakor na sasaklawan nun. So ilan lang po to sa mga bagay na gusto po namin din matugunan at uh, open po kami na makapag-usap sa mga producers, actors, organizations. So masigurado, masigurado natin na yung framework na nililikha po natin dito ay uh, protektado po lahat mula sa artista hanggang sa camera crew hanggang sa bahala sa lighting etc. Salamat po. Salamat uh, ginoong uh, Benjamin. 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 Anyway, uh, we will uh, uh, invite you pagdating sa technical working group to share to share your uh, opinion and insights. Right? Hello pa? Kasi meron pa ako hearing na atin. Yeah, funny. Uh, Man, balik na tuloy yung issue tinatanong mo kanina tungkol sa overtime pay. Kung po sa aming grupo, kaya hindi namin tinatanggap ang extension for the information of everybody, uh, mal magiging malaking gulo po yun eh. Kasi ang remuneration or overtime pay ng mga networks or producer depends, uh, hindi po pantay-pantay eh. Meron pong bibigyan ng additional one whole day, may iba, one half. So, pag nalaman ng iba, ay ba't kami kalahati lang binayad sa amin, ay kalahati, ba't doon buo? So, meaning, ang point ko po, wala na talaga po ng extension, ang working hours, wala ng overtime, wala nang babayarang ano, kasi lahat po kami naka-fix na alam namin sa utak namin na ang aming fee for a day ay eh, ganoon. Para hindi na po tayo magkaroon ng selusan. At talagang Treatment po, no offense meant to the producers and network. Iba-iba ang treatment nila sa payment ng extension and overtime. I, I am a victim of such. Thank you. Thank you. 
Salita ka ulit. Uh, isang huling karagdagan lang. Uh, one survival so for 16 hours is not going to cut it as far as occupational health needs are low. See, you know, kasi, um, you know, since you start with the from the first hour onwards, medyo nagbibiklang na talaga ng activity mo yan. At saka yung activity, hindi mo things. Kaya nga, Mr. Garcia is lang na. So, fundamental talaga ang issue to i-address natin yung work hours na yun sana. Magandang unti-unti na scale lang para masanay lang lahat. Thank you. Thank you. And I would like to remind the producers concerned or present here today, kasi noong last uh, consultation, meron mga isang mga group, ibang grupo na uh, nagko-complain dun sa kanilang uh, lang may mga talents. I, I think particularly mga talents, yung grupo ng mga talents, uh, minsan nireklamo sila kasi wala silang, minsan naka standby area na sa Nasa corridor lang sila, nasa kalsada lang sila. Tapos yung kanilang CR, wala silang magamit na CR. Pati yung pagkain nila, iba yung pagkain ng talents. Tsaka dun sa, sa mga artista. Tsaka yung pagtrato daw sa kanila, hindi raw maganda. So siguro iwasan natin yung mga kanong klaseng ano. At bigyan natin, bigyan natin sila ng... Wala nga ka sweldo niya Ano po? Uh, uh, iwasan natin, bigyan natin sila ng standby area kung pwede yung mga talents. Kasi yun ang kanilang ano, yung reklamo before. Yes. Uh, my name po is Anna po from PTV. But uh, gusto ko lang pong ibigay yung aking personal opinion kasi uh, yung ibang mga nire-raise po ng mga uh, resource person, I think po mas dapat ang ipush po natin yung legislation para sa mga manggagawa po sa broadcast uh, and news media kasi baka nakakalito po doon sa industriya nila dahil iba po talaga yung nature ng mga nasa film industry. So kung ako po ay... Uh, yun pong mas gusto ko pong idulog sa inyo na kung mayroon po kayong pending bill para naman po sa uh, beneficyo po sa welfare ng mga journalist at mga nasa media po eh, yun po yung gusto namin i-push at baka sa separate na hearing o ibang pag-uusap po doon po natin During the last hearing we already tackled the my, my other bill yung major, uh, major workers welfare act now we are just concentrating first on the Eddie Garcia Bill. Correct, at, at yung Major Workers Welfare Act, I think we will submit it already to the Technical Working Group as well as this Eddie Garcia Bill. Correct po, Senator. Para lang po dun sa kaalaman po ng yes. kasama namin kasi yung iba po sinusulong nila ay mas bagay po doon po natin mabaling para hindi po uh, tayo makasama na sa uh, komplikasyon po nung ginagawa po dito sa bill po para sa mga nasa film industry. Alright. Thank you. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair? Mr. Chair? Uh, um, magandang araw po, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, yung po yung tukoy ni Ms. Anna po po, uh, yun po kasi kami po, naniniwala kami sa broadcast na yung film at yung sa television ay hindi na po nagkakalayo. Ay, uh, katunayan po, yung aksidente na nangyari sa ating, sa mahal natin si Eddie Garcia ay, ay yun po ay programa sa television po. So, sa ngayon po, yung, yung platforma na nilalabasan ng, ng movie tsaka television ay isang na rin po sa so, mga, mga video streaming. Uh, yun po, uh, kaya, kaya naniniwala po kami na uh, sa amin nga pong posisyon, uh, gusto namin pong i-merge yung batas dito sa Eddie Garcia Law at sa Media and Entertainment uh, Workers Welfare Act. Yun lamang po. Maraming salamat. Okay, salamat. Uh, before we adjourn, I think uh, Senator Robin has something to say. Kanyang closing remark. Maraming salamat po, uh, Chairman. Gusto ko lamang po uh, malaman ng lahat ng pinag-usapan po natin ng Eddie Garcia bill. Nag-shooting ako. Chairman, sinubukan ko yung uh, powers sa tulong po ng mga uh, profesional ng mga tao. Nagawa na ng 12 hours. Uh, action. 
Opo, action. Hard action. Nagpasabog uh, pa kami ng truck. 12 hours pagka-grind. Oo, oh, in-grind. In-grind. Bali, all in all, 14 hours. Pa yung travel, punta doon, preparation. Kasi na-inspire kami by uh, Direct Coco Martin. Kasi nung nakausap natin si Direct Coco Martin, sinabi na nagagawa nila ng 12 hours. Nung na hindi ako makapaniwala. Sabi ko, parang bumabula yata ako ni Coco. Ha? Kaya ang ginawa ko, nag-shooting ako. Kinawa ko ng mga tao niya uh, sa batang kaya po. Nagawin namin. Pero hard action to. It's doable. 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 Uh, pati pagkain, sinubukan namin. Yun lang yung pagkain ng chairman. Sinubukan namin pa 150. Medyo hindi masaya yung mga tao sa 150. Sinubukan namin yung 250. Masayang masaya yung mga tao sa 250. Kasi yung 150... Parang tawag doon, parang, ano ba yung styro? Nasa styro. Paklatch. Ito, 15, di ba paklatch? Two to ring. Ah, okay. Ikot yung mga tao, unlimited rice. Pwede siya lang. Pwede siya lang. May magwanda. Masaya-masaya sila. May magwanda. Sino po kang dinamin? Anong tawag doon? Yung binibigay lang pera? Nalawans. Nalawans. Sinubukan din namin yun kasi magpapakap kami ng alas 6. Sinubukan namin yung bigyan ng pera. Hindi ko nabihin sila doon kasi dala nyo naman yung pera. Kaya ang halisana namin, ang ang punto ko, Chairman, kung gusto natin talaga matapos ng 12 hours, kaya, kaya, kasi kami, hindi naman kami ng pera ng preparasyon na isang milyon, Nasa pre-prod lang muna sa kanina. Nasa talaga yung sikreto. Kaya rin lang po, Chairman, gusto ko lang po magpasalamat sa dalawang artista. Senator Robin, hindi lang siguro sa pre-prod. Kasi ang nireklamo rin, ang inyong kahit ni Direk Coco when we talked to him two weeks ago, kasi pagdating sa set, minsan... Mas matagal yung chismisan, yung kwento yung mga marites-marites dyan. So, naiiwasan, siguro, siguro sa set niya, naiiwasan yung mga kwentuhan, yung mga chismisan pagdating sa set. Kaya pagdating sa set, trabaho ka agad. Tama po. Uh, yan po ang ginawa namin, Chairman. Wala mo nang kwentuhan doon talagang. Trabaho lang. Uh, kaya po, uh, Chairman, po namang pasalamat sa dalawang artista na nagpunta dito. Uh, kay Ms. Ferdin Dong Dantos at kay Ms. Isa Kalsado. At sa lahat po, siyempre, ng mga artista at taga-pilikula. Ito special mention ko lang sila. Kasi sa totoo lang po, sa ah, kultura ng pilikulang Pilipino, makalaga yung bida. Kapag yung bida ang nag-umpisa ng mga katulad ng mga ganitong uh, killers, pag-killers, bukiisa yung bida doon sa mga maliliit na tinatawag po namin, yung mga kuno, yung utility. Kapag yung bida, yung bida, kikinig ang producer. Yung mga katulad na, eh, okay, sa panahon mo nila. Pero sa panahon ko namin, kapag ka nag-reclamo kasi yung artista na sinasabi ng bida, Yung pagkain naman, ayun siya naman yung pagkain. Nakikinig yung producer. Kapag sinabi ng bida sa producer, well, sa kalahating araw na po kaming nag-tentin, uh, pwede naman po bigyan naman ninyo ng uh, number time yung mga tao. Nakikinig ang mga producer. Kaya napakahalaga po sa ganitong usapin. Nakasama natin yung mga bida. Katulad nila ako ng Martin, at yung nagpunulad ng Bandante, sila may uh, isa kalsado, makasama natin dito. Kaya sana po, mas marami pa, mas marami pa na mga bida ang sumama sa atin sa ganitong usapin para may versus may influence. May versus. Maligay. Kasi katulad po, makasama natin sa English Indian, dati kami lang. Basi pa ako yung kapatid ka na hindi ko na alam kung saan ko ilalagay yung panahon na yun. Pero, nagtagintay naman ko eh. Kaya sana, mas marami pa, Chairman, ang tumayo para sa exactly na ito. At kung naman po sa Berle, e kung nabibigyan ako kay Berle, nagbong share, bakit talaga ang 
environment sa program to the at sa television at ganun din sa media. Uh, iba po talaga. Uh, yung, 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 sa ibang trabaho. Uh, uh, sa hindi lang ano, hindi lang lakas. Ang kanito, hindi lang gano'n ang, ang ano, ang kumulan po namin sa trabaho ito. Ang kalimawa at production, lahat nandun na. Kaya iba po talaga ang uh, aming industriya. Minamang po, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat siya naman. Thank you, uh, Senator Robin. Again, I would like to encourage uh, all stakeholders concerned to please be united as one. And uh, I will, we will have another consultation probably by November when I submit my committee report uh, before the uh, plenary so, set, sa Senate. And uh, I do not want win here. I want a win-win solution for everybody. Because what I said earlier, pag ito naging basura itong batas na ito, lahat tayo babagsak dito sa industry nito. That's why I want to seek all your inputs, uh, your opinion, para magkaroon tayo ng isang uh, batas na pakikinabangan ng lahat ng, ng movie workers dito sa ating bansa. Kasi alam ko, yung ating uh, movie industry is ready. Kumbaga on a downtrend. Matagal na tayo nasa downtrend. And I really, really want to help uh, the movie industry. Uh, of course, as uh, your senators, talagang, namin, talagang gusto namin talagang bigyan ng buhay, bigyan ng sigla muli ang uh, industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino. Anyway, uh, your committee will craft the uh, substitute bill that will uh, be presented to the plenary and we will conduct, uh, again, a technical working group the whole month of uh, October. Uh, Makikipag-unayin po sa inyo ang ating uh, COMSEC, yung ating committee secretary, para dito at ngayon pa lamang ay nagpapasalamat na kami sa inyong uh, tulong at uh, suporta na binigay niyo po rito sa Eddie Garcia, Eddie Garcia Bill. Again, I would like to thank all the resource persons uh, uh, who went out of their way to attend this uh, meeting. And I will assure you that this bill will be a happy bill for everybody. Thank you very much for attending. Hearings now adjourned.